somebody to to uh to oh, harass. Matt Lightfoot. Because mm -hmm. they'll get bored of us otherwise. Matt Lightfoot. Yes. Matt. Sweet princess. We need you. Go on, babe. Come over here. You're not allowed yeah. to have a rest. Don't be shy, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's Matt Littlefoot. Yeah. According to um I don't know. Yeah, come and sit in here. It's in, it's in, it's in. It's in the hot seat. Yeah. It, it is. We've managed to coax another dev. So we didn't ask you. <laughs> Let me go, guys. We just dragged you away from your friends. Yeah, I've been kidnapped. You have been kidnapped. Welcome. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Risen God again. Hello, everyone. Who are you and what do you Thank do? Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> so I'm Matt Lightfoot. I'm one of the producers at Foundry 42 in the UK. Um, I look after all sorts. Um, the key kind of things at the minute is mining. So mining for 3.2. We're going to talk about that soon. Uh, we'll have him in the go. No pressure. <laughs> We've got the EU vehicle feature team. So that's the stuff that you guys voted on, which for item 2.0. We're to blame. Um, yeah, for also for 3.2. Um, and then our design department. So level design, systems design, live design. Pretty much all of our PU designers. Um, so we've also got you know environments thrown in there. Uh, working with Luke Davis on all of our locations. Very exciting. A lot of work. <laughs> so we saw on ATV the last the last thing we saw just before we left. Just before we left. I was just like, oh my god, skip, 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 skip. That's cool. That's skip, 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 skip. For the talking. Uh, we saw mining, which <laughs> wow. like it sounds, it looks amazing. Like yeah. the, the laser, obviously the, the the actual weapon that was doing the yeah. mining is not going to be the mining laser. Yep. That was but a neutron cannon. <laughs> That was just a neutron cannon. So, I mean, we had a discussion. There's a Whenever we put out an ATV, there's always an email thread, and there was a big discussion of, you know, this is heavily work in progress. Like, <laughs> those VFX are With like, yeah, they're, they're just, they're just part, it's just a basic particle effect. Yeah. Um, so we were, we were like, maybe we want to message this heavily, that it's heavily work in progress. Yeah. Um, so there was a bit of a discussion there. Yeah, those are totally not final. That is just, it was a very, very quick video that we do for our PU weekly update meeting, yeah. which showed kind of the basic gameplay loop. So that's from, I want to leave Port Olisar to I've gotten back to Port Olisar having sold something. Yeah. And that's, that's our full circle. So, you know, you go to a planet, you go and, um, you know, you go and find a mineable rock or mineable entity as we call it. And then you fire your laser at it, you break down the parts, until you can harvest them, yeah. you harvest them, and then you you fly back and sell the bits and make loads of money. Loads of yeah. <laughs> easy money. <Yeah. laughs> so easy. It's so easy. What I really liked about it was the fact that we had the uh, power. You have all these different ratios yeah. of things that need to be balanced because obviously it's not just going to be a case of <laughs> pew. Now I have it's rock. Not. I'm going to be more like a <laughs> you're going to be like I ain't playing this shit. Rock. <laughs> That's too complicated. <laughs> So it's, you've got to balance this, and we saw them yeah. sort of putting on more power, and you could see the yep. chance of explosion. Yeah, danger levels. And what stuff, was right. what was it that was said after it exploded? It said ships exploded goodbye wing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's like you know it's a basic ba Dan Truffin, our designer on it, just a, he did a quick mock up of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of balancing and things to go in there. Um, yeah, yeah. When we were one of the things that really stuck with me though, when we were having the initial design discussions, was like. You know, it's what games was mining fun in, yes. and it was like yeah. Yeah, it was ones where you actually. Mining fun in. Well, Mind funnily cost. enough, one of the ones that like I thought of was you know space engineers because you're actually having right. to interact yeah. with stuff. You know, like dot, it's dot, not dot, it's dot. not like World of Warcraft where you're like uh, done. Right. Or you know, I loved Eve, but it was a background. It was a secondary thing that you did. Yeah. It was you know you. I knew some people that would have like two or three accounts all mining at the same time. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, so we can't do that in Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've got, you know, eight hands and you're... You know, I'm working on it. You're an octopus. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, so it's, you know, that's one of the things that you kind of saw in the video. There's, you know, you're actually focusing on it. Yeah. It's good luck trying to do it. It's like a background task. It's, yeah, so you can't do it like so, wild washing Netflix or something. Netflix Probably could. Mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Netflix yeah. and mine. Netflix. We know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I did like. Uh, he, they said that uh, not only will you have these visual things and rely on the HUD, but also yep. you could also like driving a, ma a car. Like you could also like listen out to, to the different cues as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was that was one of the things that they they kind of was also pushing on was the the skill ceiling as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's you know you don't have to follow the same thing over and over again. If you kind of know what what that rock is, what the component parts of it is, you can get quicker if you kind of get that yeah, actual meta experience. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and you become 
familiar with it. So it's also means that people that do it more more often get used yeah. to it, so mm-hmm. that they can kind of save themselves some time, almost in a roundabout way and kind of a without having to scan yeah, too much in a very sandboxy manner <laughs> you know yeah. I mean one of the one of the things obviously that a lot of people want to play with stars is, is the multi-crew aspect so have yeah. you thought about that for mining yet or is that going to be I mean, obviously it's not going to be integrated straight away but is that something that you think right from the start or is it um, so this, is, th- this is where I'm going to give you cagey cagey responses <laughs> Damn it. To the future trying. TM we keep but, trying we try. <laughs> <laughs> but you know um, obviously we've got the prospector in now um, the that's going to be the main, sh- the only ship that you can mine with in three two. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, I'm sure chat will start mentioning the Orion is obviously the big. You Orion know. when? No when question. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull the ejector seat. You know. Twelve. <laughs> just say twelve. Yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously, it's something we consider, and yeah. we we have thought through that in the design and actually the implementation. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, with those bigger ships, you know, there'll be more delineation of tasks. Yeah. yeah, you'll find out more more as time goes. Could you on. answer that whether the multi crew would allow you to, I don't know, uh, gather certain resources that maybe wouldn't be available for a single player pilot, or is I suppose everything's got to be a bit open to everybody. Yeah, it's more than about efficiency, or, or yeah. is it like a benefit to having multi crew when mining? I, I would say, um, I mean, I, I've not got an answer for that specific question, so I'll, <laughs> I'll dodge it. But like, um, you know, as with everything, you're that's, honest. as with everything that's multi crew, right? Is the more people that you've got, if you can focus different people on different things, yeah. you're going to be far quicker at doing those things rather than just having one person do everything. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's what the Orion is focused on. It's a big, big mining ship. Yeah. It's bigger. Know. And also, you know, it's all... It's, more roles than mining. In yeah. And I also believe it had uh, an onboard refinery as well. Yeah. Yes. So the prospect, you know, you're having to take that back to a station, you yeah, know. You're filling up saddlebags there. Yeah. yeah. And as Aaron said in the in the... In the panel, you know, you're then having to go back and refine it at a station. But with an Orion, you know, potentially you've got the possibility there to refine it in space. So it makes that whole loop more efficient, yeah. which means more cash per minute. That's what we want. That's more cash per minute. <laughs> <laughs> so how about on foot mining as well? Like, um, yeah, we heard there was going to be like a backpack. It was in the roadmap. Do you know, like it was it like in Hellion oh, they had that thing where you could yeah, put tanks on them. A- fill up cylinders is only I like would that? totally have to consult what we've said to <laughs> yeah, you probably like, you've definitely, um, you've definitely said there's going to be just confirm it it was on the road map but uh, well, yeah you don't have to answer it if you don't yeah, no, I, I don't know what we've said publicly about any any of the long term plans with regards to that so I'm not going to you know, have you I, quite, I quite like, you know. <laughs> well, you said I about, quite like um, working it. Right? You said about like looking at other games for mining and things. Have you tried it in a game like Hellion or anything like that? Yeah, so I mean, I've played Hellion, Hellion myself, which is oh, it's got one of the most awkward docking mechanics. Yes. Like, oh god, it's like <laughs> <knows> everyone dies. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. I yeah. love it. And it's like <laughs> no. accidentally there goes all of my oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, the only way I could play Hellion is with a crew that's kind of carry me. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, but it's the same with anything, right? Is you, you kind of, whenever, I mean, I, I know I do. Whenever you're looking at something, you're like, well, who's solved this problem before? Yes. How they solved it? Which were the good ones? Which were the bad ones? For the direction we want to go. Um, you know, so you kind of learn from other people. I mean, that's good to know because I've played some MMOs where they don't. And you, you, you logged in the game. Have you actually ever played? A game before. Yeah. Why well, don't no, you play Gibbet? Yeah. You, you just doesn't like gone Have to any other MMO that yeah. does this yeah. already and, and and seen how to implement it. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's good that you use that as research to help pick and develop what you want to do. Yeah, and I mean, I'll to totally go over one of the things that I'll say over and over again, but I think we totally gloss over one of the things that we have at CIG that a lot of other places don't have. We've just got such a breadth of experience. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. you look at any other, you know, all of our staff. We've had pretty much somebody that's worked on every top game in the yeah. last, like, God, 10 years. You know, it's just that breadth of experience and someone goes, well, actually, I was involved in this. And it's like, well, I didn't know you worked on that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, so you're not, we're not just taking, taking experience, but we've also got the people that actually worked on stuff like that before. Mm. So well, what were the games did you consult in when you thought about mining? What was the, the list? I mean, there was a oh, it was a big meeting. There was a lot of people that kind of you know you threw around ideas, and obviously like you know you look at other MMOs where it's you know those background actions. Um, but obviously we you know Chris has his direction, so is Tony. So Tony yeah. and Todd are two of our directors that are really heavily invested in mining. Mm. So you know Bitcoin. 
Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. My Bitcoin's down at the minute. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been saying the same. <laughs> I, bought, I bought the peak. Um, but yeah, like, you know, so Tony and Todd have a very, very, you know, Solid clear name. direction yeah. of the that they want to take mining in. Yeah. Tony wrote the big piece about the Orion and how, you know, and that was before we were implementing things, you know, and things adjust and slightly, you know, kind of fit the mold as yeah. we, you know, as we as we go into actual development. It's agile development. You may not yeah. be able to comment too much about it because, of course, you know, for certain things you have to talk about it, yeah. like, and then release publicly. Don't but give him an excuse. <laughs> yeah. I, I Roast just, me on stream. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, can't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I just like the idea that mining in this game is going to be hands-on yeah. because it kind of um, ha um, has a knock-on effect to other things as well because of it. Because, like, for instance, you can have different rocks with different properties and yeah. say, let's say, a particular mineral is very difficult yeah. to mine because its little bar for danger is very narrow. Yeah. yeah. That can have a knock-on effect on the market and how much that thing costs and how much they can sell. Yep. And I think it'll, like, really lend to a more living and breathing universe. I mean, yep. like... Uh, do you, mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, as Luke said in the panel, you know, it's the mining is about the, the being able to, you know, you're injecting energy into the rock. Right. And you've got kind of two big, um, I say, other components. So if you elevate too much power into it, mm. it builds a charge and it builds up a danger level. And basically, if that danger level maxes out, the rock will explode over a large distance. Right. And you know, people. it's really slow, you blow off your wing, that's, you know. Yeah. Are you relatively safe if you mine little rocks? <laughs> it just yeah. blow your leg off and instead or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, you know, if you've got a friend that just comes in and is like, oh, you're mining that rock, boom. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. Um, well, would, you know. Would that open up to trolling, though, like someone else mining the same rock and then yeah. forcing it to explode? I mean, it would suicide, I suppose. Possibly, but, but then, you know, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's where it more comes in, you know, maybe it's yeah, safer to do it as a group. Ah. But you if you're in a bigger ship, <laughs> the, 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 like the, it, just, it won't hurt you <laughs> so much. It'll blow the little mining ship up, but the Orion just goes. Well, That's an interesting yeah. consideration, actually. I mean, like, uh, of course, what we saw was the first iteration, yep. uh, but it seemed like you know you had to make sure that you didn't make the, the rock overheat. Yep. If you had like a mining troll like coming at miners and like <laughs> overheating rocks and blowing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to happen. You know, well, it'll this happen. is the thing. Is like this is part of the thing that we've maybe not seen that much yet but mm. we will do as we develop more features is because we are building you guys kind of a sandbox mm, yeah. we can't even conceive some of the <laughs> mad stuff that you guys are going to do with it like I mean the few is Grey Cat sumo wrestling like I mean, I've got a feeling that when Chris and Aaron were sat down, you know, coming up with Star Citizen, it wasn't, wasn't like, we're thought. making this to wrestle Grey Cats <laughs> on a planet surface you know but that's something that he's taken yeah. and he's, he's invented a whole game around like yeah, yeah. um so, you know, I'm sure there will be stuff like that, you know, and then... <laughs> Making ships go pop yeah. <laughs> by blowing them up. I'll mine it, it's fine. No, no, we don't want you mining it again. <laughs> but this is, this is the thing with, like, the mechanics of the game. It's the same with the fuel, it's the same with the mining. It's not a straightforward thing. It's not a boring sort of pastime that you just click a button and it does the job for you. Mm. It's yep. an actual in-depth thing that you're going to be enjoying, you're going to be hopefully enjoying. Yeah, we're still still to see it, haven't we? Let's be fair. But, uh, I think I think it's going to be. Wow, something that was nice, a bit of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be enjoying it. We will judge you if it's not right. But, uh, yeah. but that's what I like about we were talking about the Hyundai because we're doing a giveaway for the Hyundai yeah. at the moment. So uh, exclamation! Well, give me ships. Give me ships. Nice <laughs> fucking idea that was. Um, that was yours actually. No, was it? Okay, maybe. No, there we go. We blame voiced. Would, would you be happy to answer questions from chat, by the way? Yep, yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. Fire away, chat. So, chat, if you, if you have a question. Hmm. Oh, no, you, you, If you have any questions. If you have a question. Sorry, go on. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> if you have a. Go on. <laughs> you take over, it's fine. If. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should get involved. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Uh, all thing. I don't even. If you have any <laughs> questions, feel free to preface them with square brackets question in chat so we can see it. Make sure it's clear, and then we'll try. If it's uh, if it's a good question, we'll ask uh, Mr. Lightfoot. Yeah, well. if the question's shit, we'll just ignore yeah. it. To be honest, and um, we'll probably get mostly shit questions. But so carrot, we'll try. <laughs> What's the carrot? Yeah. Like, or is it? Do you mean carrots? Maybe you just after some carrots. Ah, yeah. Right. I'm certainly not the man to sort you out with vegetables. Like steak, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Priority. You're sitting next to the wrong man there. Yeah. It's no. Mr. Rabbit Food Eater. So. Mr. Vegan Food. Yeah. yeah. So I got a question. What what uh, projects have you uh, worked on before Star Citizen? Well, you already know this answer. I so, do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my first intro to video games was working on the Daisy mod. Um, so. I was I was on the Daisy mod team, and that's how I got my job at Bohemia Interactive. When they 
Australia suddenly. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Just bent down on them. Cool boy, me guy. Like the horizontal, not vertical. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so it was Daisy, um, and then Daisy standalone, and then uh, within Bohemia, I moved over to uh, Armor Three, and nice. yeah, kind of did all sorts of Bohemia with like supporting Take On Mars a little with some live streams and. Oh really? Yeah. I've not played Take On Mars. It looks cool. I've I've seen the game and I thought it was a cool little game. Like there's not you know mind blowing. You're building a t you know a small small thing on a planet. Yeah. Um, but you know, long longevity. You know, it's not Star Citizen. Is it more of a single play? What the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so Are they a mine? Are they all mine? <laughs> if, if you're the only one having Heine. Heine. Uh, Heine. <laughs> Heine. Heine. Isn't that the word for Heineken? No. Sorry for the interruption. Please. <laughs> no. That's fine. But beer you is can always interrupt. Beer always interrupts. Beer. Mm. <laughs> We've been given a gift from Mr. Dublar Thackeray. No. Who is a mod from uh, from Grackeasy stream? You may know him from the uh, the Late Night Vacuum podcast. Yeah. You might remember him from other such streams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So now I'm just trying to read the back back message, you know, the yeah, messages that are backwards. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Double fisting. You know it. <laughs> what? I don't oh. drink. Double that's on what stream. you call it. No, it's not I don't think that's it. what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> used to call it that. We got the memo. You don't get the memo. No, I didn't. Oh. What are we in the 21st yeah. century now? Oh. I'm a so do we have any questions? Are they all like? Uh, we had medium-sized minor ship. Um, that would be a ship team question. Mm. Um, Damn you. Yeah. Sorry. Just make something up. Make something up. Yeah, yes. all, all these someone, things, yes. Someone wants what? to know your hotel. <laughs> um, I've got five friends staying at my house that have travelled from all over the UK oh, nice. for Britain's Con. Well, yeah. What's your address? My address, well, <laughs> yeah. normally you got to buy me... Oh, I was going to say you buy me a drink first, but then I look at my hand <laughs> oh, and I'm like, there you oh, go. oh no. <laughs> We're all going then. down tonight. <laughs> oh. um, my name is Dregum Thorite first. What? <laughs> Thanks, is the tier here. zero version of mining only ship based? You've answered that already. Yes. So yes. yeah. So there, it's going to be all based through the prospector, um, and it's it's boom arm. Yeah. The stream looks super weird. I liked reverse me better. Yeah. I was like, ooh, I, I look, I look now, okay. And now we're the wrong way around. Well. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah. Um, so that 300 i is not. Well, how will all the 300 i's be reworked? I don't That's know. That's a ship question. Yeah, that is also that a is ship, another question. ship question. Oh, God. Luke Davis, the ship producer, yeah. is also here today, and so, you should, you should yeah. get him here. Yeah, and until then, <laughs> stop yeah. asking yeah. such you ship should, you questions. Should seriously, let me leave. Will we be able no, to no, let, let me just throw him under the bus. <laughs> 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 what we got? Anything else? We'll be able to at least have the prospect to purchase a ball in 3.2, so people can try mining without spending. So basically, of dollars. ship purchasing. Yeah, yeah. when well, you actually ask me, ship purchasing. That's a that, yeah, that's a whole bigger question that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, from a from a long-term backer here, when they do release ships, they tend to release some smaller ships like that to um, you know the uh, to purchase with. What is it? Uh, rental equipment credits? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not a developer, and he's not confirming. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, maybe you might be able to do so by renting through the rec store. That being said, maybe you will. Does that still work then? Uh, in the verse. It, it did for a time, actually. In but the I, verse. Yeah, I think they may have actually. I think they've removed it. Ah, they did, didn't they? Right. So much for being a long time backer. I do apologize. <laughs> no, I could be wrong. Last time yeah. I could be wrong. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. There's yeah. two long time backers who have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. So yeah. someone asked, uh, so the prospector and the Orion are like mining ships, but will yep. they ever be able to put mining like lasers on other ships? Which I'm kind of guessing no because of the system. But I also can't elaborate on that. I mean, right now is the Orion is set up, so it actually uses the cargo grid system. Um, so when you look at the Orion. Um, sorry, the prospector. Oh. Not the prospector. Damn, I, was I, was like, I was like, hang on a minute. I was going to build you up, and now I've crushed you. Yeah. Secret news <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah. in the car. Oh, yeah, so the, 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 or the always stored, there's four boxes that expand. Um, they won't expand in 3.2. They'll be statically full. Yeah, the sub yeah. bags. Yeah. 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 Um, and basically, they, it pulls things to the cargo grid in those. You know, so for mining lasers and future ships, I would say that, you know, that's something to be discussed further down the road. Once we've got mining in, then we can look at, you know, so long-term plans. Maybe. It's not they, maybe. They did that's kind a, of say, didn't they, that it's like they, or you, <laughs> not you yeah. personally, but yeah. they said, like, the idea of having attachments, like, yeah. like mining... Um, 
Anyway, attachments. Attachments. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to repeat the same like words. Like, I've already said that. But yeah, so a manning attachment, you can, like, like, same with the tractor beam. The idea that you can get like tractor beams, but they don't want all ships to do the same thing. The whole point is that you buy a ship mm. specifically for the role that you want. Otherwise, everyone would buy the same ship that does everything. So, yeah, yeah it's important that yeah. every ship has its own specific role. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you buy it otherwise? Yeah. yeah? Um, uh, you probably won't know it, but um, will there be other single-seater, other manufacturers? Can't. That's a, yeah, no, that's yeah. also a long-term ship question. Sorry, guys, you question. need to learn to um, ask the right questions. Will mining let us mine most of the minerals we can also find on Earth? So I would say that, you know, the minerals question, like, they're... I can't give you a full list now, um, but and you know the ores that you're going to be able to mine will also probably most of them will be refinable as well. Right. Um, you know, so you can look now in, in shops, and now Brian's standing over. And <laughs> he's, he's getting ready. He's, 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 he's uh, broke the end about five times. It's fine. It's fine. Brian's like. You better not be telling too much, my child. <laughs> my oh. child. Brian knows some pro wrestlers. That's oh. it's really intimidating. <laughs> he is a pro wrestler, aren't you? Oh shit, no. He's like, huh. <laughs> oh, why did I reveal that? You know, so. www.brianprowrestler.com. Wait, are there pictures of Brian's handbag? Yes. <laughs> and the. Uh, the his, Hispanic Brian 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 masks. Only if you get past the paywall. <laughs> so I hear. That's <laughs> fine. It's cheap, so, it's cheap. You should have the price. So for those who may not necessarily be too versed in Star Citizen yep. as much too as... Too versed? Yeah, I see what I did there. Uh, can you elaborate more into how mining is supposed to work in its in, in its uh, first iteration? Entirety. <sighs> well, With, so... Without maybe spoiling things. That we so don't. basically, you've got... Uh, um, I will go, go off what has already been said. You will... First of all, be looking for mineable rocks, mm. and then once you found one, you'll then be able to. You'll have two specific types of laser, which is what Luke said. Um, you'll have your mining laser and also your tractor. like extraction laser. Right. Um, extraction laser. I'm not going to say tractor beam because a tractor beam is a very specific thing in sci-fi. <laughs> Whereas an extraction laser, yeah, is completely yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. just something right. I've just made you just up. Made that up on <laughs> yeah. the spot. Because if I said you tractor hope. beam, you'd be like, tractor beams confirmed. Right. So yeah. to stop you on that step, extraction would... laser. He just confirmed. said tractor beams and confirmed in, in the same sentence. So therefore, it must be confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's dreams. Yeah. So to, to stop you on that step, though. Yeah. Would you ha have to uh, scan the rock first to know what's mineable? Or would you mine it blindly in the first iteration? Um, so that's not something that's been announced yet, and probably not for me to announce right. on a live stream. You but we no. have seen it in a video in a TV. <laughs> this is where Brian comes <laughs> back yeah, with yeah, a dark gun. Yeah. Suddenly yeah. the stream goes black. Yeah, yeah Brian comes yeah. like a mule near. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can, can you mine every rock? Um, no, no, you won't be able to. Um, it'll be specific rocks to start with. Are they visibly. Um, they're going to be glowing. Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, seriously. Well, that's probably going to be, be like the scanning. So the, at the minute, we're still working through the, what we call, like, the visual target. So mm -hmm. when we're creating things, you do, like, a quick look dev, um, which you guys have seen concepts of. And then we do what, what's called a visual target, which is, in a perfect world, this is what it would look like. And those are, still, those are currently in progress now. So when you say, will things look differently? Can't tell you a definite answer till we get the visual target. Yes. Are mining lasers the only thing intended at this point in time to damage asteroids and stuff to yield? So I'm gonna. So first of all, asteroid mining is not for three two. Asteroid okay. mining is for a future iteration. Planetary. The only thing that's going to be on is mining on planetary bodies. So right. that's on a planet, and it will be a specific. It'll be specific rocks that are embedded into the planet um, and distributed around. Um, at the minute, they're the only things that can. Okay. Um, at the moment, yeah. Right on. Okay. Uh, some of us, will there be different types of quality material, the same material? So, you said about different materials being worth more, but yeah. would the same material come in different grades of quality? Um, I would say grades wouldn't be a reasonable way to want to, oh, sorry, to qualify that. I would yeah. say it's it's more we're looking at percentages and the distribution percentage. So. Um, I'm just trying to look for a visual, visual thing. So you know, no, because that's changing colour. You know, um, so I could say, but it's one colour. It's fine. You know, I could say that this is maybe like 20% water. That would be a lie, but um, you know, if I filled it up to two thirds, it would be 60% water. Um, and I went from 20, like 53.6. Yeah, but then you know, maybe you've got a. a 
you know, one of this rock has more gold in it, but it's still a gold ore. It's, it's, a, it's a gold deposit. Right. You know, so you've got those different things. So you, you, there's the potential for getting more out of the same one. Right. Um, but, you know, to what extent those are in the first iteration, TBD. Right. Which we're getting when? The first iteration? Yeah. 3.2. 3.2! <laughs> yep. Which is June. Which is also where I'm not telling you my address. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we'd expect, as with everything else in the game, yep. to uh, have different like levels of like component, even for mining, right? Yep. Mm. So um, more efficient, that kind of thing. So initially, it'll just be one mining laser, and right. it'll be the prospect of boom arm, um, because Basically, the, the laser head on it has the mining lasers and the uh, extractor beam. Extractor beam. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag. Extractor <laughs> beam. Well, so I could extract somebody from a dangerous situation with this beam. <laughs> yes. Um, you yeah. pull people out of ships with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we, uh, during the ATV, we saw um, the neutron cannon, obviously, yep. which is not the, tra the actual thing, doing a solid laser. Yeah. But we saw the prospect of doing like a, a sort of a bup bup. Yeah, that was just a work in progress. That was, yeah, effect, that's yeah. not how. It's, is it more going to be like the neutron cannon solid beam? It's going to be more of a solid beam. Like yeah. a vacuum. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, the visual target for the VFX is still in progress. Um, you know, there's technology that requires us. You know, we're we're building up the technology to allow us to give us that beam. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Well, what so the audio for the mining laser beam was it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we got yeah. a question. So that was that was literally the the audio team does a, does a quick pass on the video, um, and yeah, that was just literally a mock up. So, you know, not gonna you know, could potentially be better. Um, you know, when they invest more time Possibly into it. Possibly worse. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully so not. The question is is fucking jumped. I can't find the question. Where is it? I have a question. Why you look for it? So um, right now with planets and yeah. uh, pre sorry pre procedural moons even, yeah. the art team has done a great job making the moons really beautiful, really great. You have different biomes on the moons yeah. and such. So when mining is in, initially, will those nodes just be scattered sporadically or will there be a rhyme and reason based on the actual biomes that exist on the moons? So I believe that the way that the, it'll be painted on, so one of the ways that we um, edit them is right. Things can be assigned and painted on almost. Right. So it allows designers to be able to allocate where these things will spawn. Okay. Or they're able to uh, assign the area to where these things will happen. So, um, and I believe that's going to be implemented. We'll, we'll have that for 3 2. Mm. Um, so they'll be able to not ruin your pretty biomes. <laughs> Damn. Can't mine through the planet. Yeah. Okay. So what you're saying is that, like, rather than it being completely procedural, um, a dev might just go, okay, that looks like a nice spot, and then because, you know, yeah, general. but I think saying not completely procedural is maybe, you know, it's part of it. So, so you know, they'll say this area mm. is, you know, yeah, has a done. higher, higher ratio of being able to get these sorts of things, right? Rather than that one, that one. Okay. and then it will be, you know, within that area. Okay. So you can't just oh, keep going one. to the same spot like you could in. You know, some games where it's like, yeah. well, I always know this yeah. thing is going to respawn here. Like probably. in WoW. Yeah. If they Almost, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Drew, the interrupt. Um, the question is, will we have a readout telling us what materials we are collecting? How about... Uh, how about... How, how full... How so, what's like the UI? So, we've got... Um, we've currently got the UI... Uh, the mock-ups done. Um, they're currently going through uh, animated mock-ups and animated concepts now. So we've got a UI artist completely dedicated now, up until 3.2, working on it, um, and we will, pro you know, we're also working out um, UI code resources. So, um, as Aaron said, also, you know, one of the things that we're all we're kind of outlining as well is, you know, what teams need what, which resources. So on Friday, I sent an email saying, you know, these are the UI code resources, these are the UI resources that we have. Yeah. This is what we're probably going to need, um, you know. To be able to to get these things, you know, yeah. and then we'll also need priority calls, because you know, as as Aaron and Brian really hit on, is everything's just a series of priority calls. Yeah. You know, if we want, you know, mining with all the shiny UI, you know, that will have to take priority over something else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we saw like a long time ago on the mining post, which was like yeah. four years a ago. A while ago now, yeah. A while ago. A while ago. And it had these weird sort of graphs. 
that were sort of flowing as the mining. Are they I, similar to that? Oh, yeah. I, I can't. I can't remember which uh, concept that was. Or oh, which oh, I think like, it was the Orion. Yeah. It was, it was for the Orion. It was basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a wild board gamer is up here. A wild board gamer. <laughs> But yeah, so um, those are those, they're from the Orion uh, concept page, mm. that, the big post that Tony did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've we've got new UI mockups because these ones are specific to the Prospector, mm. um, and yeah, the ones that will be on your I say, it's going to be almost a, a mode when you go into the mining mode um, on board the ship. So you'll get specific UI for you know the resources that you're getting and then the the uh, properties of that entity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what I've noticed on the roadmap yep. is that uh, the character's missing. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, the character's <laughs> missing. But um, apart from that, so we've had, we have this, the, the new service beacons, yep. right, for transport and for combat assistance. But what I noticed um, is that they introduced um, some new. Uh, Roadmap of op, um, options for things like mining, for refining, and they call these service beacons as well. Does that mean that you'd be able to request the help of somebody else to collect ore from you, and ref or say I'm too lazy to refine this, refine this for me, and stuff like that? Or so I'm not right now. Hmm. Um, we're just focusing on mining on planetary bodies, right. and then if you, we've plotted out kind of our, the way that we see mining evolving, and we've highlighted kind of the key breakdown of those. Okay. Um, and then you know, there is the possibility for growth and things like that. But right. Obviously, you know, if you're going to go down that road, mm -hmm. then you know you're looking at multiple other systems to be able to make that happen, because then right. you're going to have to drop some kind of you know something to be able to get that ore from. You know, how do you? How do you transfer that all between two ships? Right. You know, so you're can, can you get the saddlebags to come off of the prospector yeah. and then put empty ones back on? Potentially. That's the intention, isn't it? Potentially. That's, that's <laughs> the idea, isn't it? I, think. It's, it's, uh, I believe so, yeah. They I believe detach that, and then yeah. it fills up and then they detach and then you've got to get new saddlebags. Yeah, I believe that's the long term intention, yeah. but that is not something for 3 2. No, because yeah, otherwise, where would you guys. go to get the saddlebags yeah. from? Let's just get the fucking laser work yeah. in there, first of all. <laughs> it's like I almost need a macro for not for 3 2. Yeah, not yeah, for stay within scope. If we had this working, we could just press the button. Yeah. So Does that work? Mm. Can we not mess it up? up? So yeah, we didn't have enough time this morning to set it up. No, no. So somebody asked a question saying, if I find a really nice place to mine and then empty that place of material, can I re-log on a different server and find that place again? I'm just trying to reiterate what you said before, right? Um, about no. So I, I, I don't know about... I, I, I can't give you an answer to that. Right. Um, as for a really nice place to mine, um, I don't know the specific ratio from dead rock to mineable rock. Right. Um, but obviously, again, like with the procedural placement, things aren't going to be at exactly the same spot. Yeah. Right? So you might have a rough idea where things are, but you know, then if you're logging out, logging back in, you're going to yeah, make the same server. route again. Yeah. You know, and your ship's going to be, you know, your ship's full. You need to really, you're not cutting much time out because yeah. you've got to still go back to go and sell that stuff. You know, before you can go and fill up again. Is there uh, any plan at the moment for the respawning of the resources on like maybe 3.2? So like obviously, once you've mined an area dry. So at the minute, um, <laughs> I would say that's that's that, uh, that's something I'm that killing you with these questions. You yeah, are. Like, I was like, like Whoa, come on. I think it's just the light that's hot, but actually, you know, you should make me, you know. Um, <laughs> just tell, that's my favourite colour. <laughs> yeah, what's your favourite colour? Blue. Purple. Oh, it's okay. got to be purple. <laughs> you know. Purple UI when? Oh. Purple UI. <laughs> Shall we stop Not you half conversation? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the the <laughs> respawning, that's, uh, that's not something I can answer. Cause right. Truth of that. I don't know as a producer, that would be one for Mark or Dan. But it's just about, I, uh, I presume though, when you're mining rocks, it will vanish. So, what it does when you're mining it and, and basically breaking it down, as you saw in kind of the rough mock up and prototype, it explodes and it breaks into constituent parts. So, you know, what you're doing is you're breaking these parts down into size, the size that you can harvest, um, that, that you can extract the ore from. And, you know, you'll, a lot of that transition will be, you know, you'll see the VFX. Like, you know, if. I was going to say, if I got a rock and then hit it with a hammer, you know, you're not going to capture that moment. And there's Luke Davis here. You can ask all your ship questions to him. <laughs> um, you know, if I hit it with a hammer, you're not going to see that specific moment that it cracks, right? right. Yeah. And you're going to have a rough time probably trying to piece it back together. But it would, you know, they'll generally 
go back and some of it will be lost to just dust yeah um, so you will see you know it won't just pop um, hi Luke <laughs> he's looking um, at any way to get away from us at the moment it's like there must be someone else that can like, really someone use. take over quick <laughs> <laughs> no no we're not doing <laughs> What's that? <laughs> We're not even gonna get into this on stream because Luke. So anyway. Oh, oh no, no, let's let. No, no, yeah, come, let's, come around come here. Back, come let's, back. And let's talk about that. Get around here. Come around. You might want to leave this now. Place. Be very careful. <laughs> that was a massive sigh. That was a massive. Oh, yeah. like, what massive did you guys do? Yep. What was what that? We're not talking about? about what? I flew over to Sweden to meet a friend of mine. He did. It was, what friends? Yeah. yeah. How about we describe a bit more about this Becca person here? I fell. Oh. So. Yeah. I'm quite squeamish when it yeah. comes to injuries. Yeah. Right. And she had quite a nasty injury as a kid. I it made me faint. I fell off the bed, hit my head on the bedside table, and I forgot who I was. Oh wow. Yeah. So I then she was like, well, "You're you the Bourne identity. You are. <laughs> you are Jason Bourne." <laughs> yeah, except less badass. Yeah, it doesn't um, like yeah. bad injuries. I don't yeah. like. It doesn't like work. But, yeah. yeah. Um, and she was like. When you came around, you're like, so how were you? How are you? And I was like, I'm fine, but who are you? <laughs> oh, no. Um, she's like, you forgot to mention where you woke up. So I forgot. I, I woke up on the floor, like, and yeah. And then I ended up spending the night in a Swedish hospital. Ah. Um, good time, though. Yeah, Sweden really has a good hospital. <laughs> Did you system. think you were Swedish? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I can just remember, like, you, things started coming back. It was the most odd experience I've ever had. So how um, long did it take before, like, things... Like, I would say between an hour and an hour and a half before I started and to... And it slowly trickled in with, like, yeah. ideas of who I am. Yeah. This is who I What's am. What's going on? But needless exactly. to say, I think that Why was... Why am the, I naked? That's the best first date ever you could yeah. possibly have, isn't it? It's really a bonding experience. Starting afresh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, look at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's, he was lying it's when a story. Don't know who I am. It's like, there's one way of getting away from me. You're so hideous. Exactly. No, I don't know who you are. It's yeah, like... it's a story we're never, ever going to forget, and I'm oh, never yeah. going to live down. Oh, we're not going to tell, tell anyone. anyone. No, right. no, we won't no, tell we're not anyone. Tell, it's yeah. a secret between us. That's, that's, okay. that's yeah. a secret between us. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody needs to know. No one needs to know about this. Yeah, so, you know, when I'm not developing Star Citizen, and I'm not confirmed any hospital mechanics, by the way. So amnesia confirmed, basically. Yeah, yeah. When you die, you don't remember anything of your previous life. Life, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, Luke, you can ask all of your mining questions. Is there a mining question? Mining's me. You are mining. Uh, oh, I'm sure you are mining. Man. That's how long we've grilled him for. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's ships and environments. Kara Gwen. Kara Gwen. Sorry? Carrick? When? You Sorry? Want to know, oh, is this when I, you get to go on and tell, tell me when you get on well, your drag you in it, yeah. It's very dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's safe, isn't it? We haven't stripped you up at all, yeah? Not yet. You can try. Try your best. Um, but yeah, so, you know, like, mining's going to be the big mechanic for 3-2. Yes. Um, obviously, Everybody like... Excited for but you have to keep in mind, that it, it is Matt producing it, so, you know, you know how it turns out, you may end up with something completely different. So, so if it's completely shite... shite. <laughs> We, we don't know, know who, who to blame. blame. That's it. Just yeah, but you don't know where I live, now. so it's all good. Um, but yeah, so you know, well, obviously, because we? you might have forgot. Who are we? Yeah, but, you know, obviously, like when we come up with these features, um, you know, we've got the intended flow of how we want it to work. And, yeah. But as we develop it more, you know, we open up more problems. It is probably you know now when we're looking at gameplay loops, we've got missions, cargo. It's, Pretty involved feature development yeah. um, that we've announced for a release. Yeah. Um, you know, so there's a lot of pressure on us guys to deliver because obviously you guys go <gasps> three two. There is massive yes. pressure. Yeah. So three point two is guaranteed to be in it. To be excellent mining mechanics. Yeah, mining are you guaranteeing this feature, man? Sixty FPS. I, I will guarantee I will produce it to the best of my ability. Um, you know, and like I said, like we've got Dan, who's the who's our product owner, um, and he's our lead designer in DE. Um, real smart guy and tons of experience. I am confident in the team to deliver mining. <laughs> I'm confident my team that they fouled it to their fault. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to see. I've seen lots of questions. Um, a new life confirmed. Oh yeah. And no one's no one's reading them. Yeah. Did you buy your t-shirts from the official RSI? Do they make you pay for it? You can't no, buy so, those t-shirts. No, so the jackets every year, kind of Erin fits out the entire studio with jackets. Um, and, uh, but you know, it's his, it's his gift to us. So like, yeah, like it's, yeah. Uh, honestly, Erin is a really, really great guy to work for. But so, you know, so is Chris, like, because they're so involved, yeah. um, you know, and 
and we're passion. Pr pretty well looked after, you know, like, um, yeah, so this is our uh, Studio One. Um, oh, Come okay. work for us, you get a free show. <laughs> but if you notice, though, I'm going to just move the microphone out of the way. We've got U dot K dot, and then we've got D dot E. That's like the so, yeah. way of and we just mass produce and give it to either. either yeah, so, studio. you know, well, yeah, but I mean, like, UK is like United Kingdom, but D is just one word. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Well, so we're giving away Matt's clothing right now because yeah. uh, this has turned into a whole different kind of yeah. you know live stream event. <laughs> live on stream. How much would you pay for Matt's shirt? Let's yeah. let's auction off his t-shirt, his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a nice pair of chucks on, so we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, you know, you've just got to you know tell me awful stories for me to faint on the floor. Um, but there was also one as like favorite ship. So favorite ship that's currently in game would have. Question though. I can answer that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm confident in my ability to know my own you favorite one, ship. Someone but says 150 for his shirt. Oh, there you go. 150. Can we get two? Can we get 200 pounds for his shirt? <laughs> See, and now, now Ricky, my line manager, is now looking because yeah. you know We're Brian's all Brian's all handed off the baton it's to Ricky. A lot so he's already been on here. Discussed Becca as well. Stop, <laughs> stop, Luke. So. Yeah, so my favourite ship that's currently in game would either be the Cutlass, because you've kind of got that 18 band style look to it. You know, you've got a guy with a railgun outside the door, or the Hornet, just because the Hornet is like the standard dogfighter. And not in the game? Not in the game, personally, I would probably have to go Idris. For the sole reason of is it's their end game I want to play. Like I want to see guys that make machinimas about like Star Trek on an Idris bridge. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, and also running around an Idris with like five of my buddies. I mean, I play Sea of Thieves with Luke, and he's the worst guy. Like I'm always yelling at him, like, trim the sails, goddammit. Why aren't we going? He out and starts cutting. <laughs> yeah. Him. He what you meant. <laughs> yeah, like he just you know. But imagine getting like 10, 15 people on an Idris working together. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, awesome. Yeah. And maybe more, because otherwise you'll, you won't see each other. Yeah, but that, you know, I mean, I don't want to see my friends. I just time. want them to do their do their do job. Their job. <laughs> just do you just have a toilet, though. We say that. He brought up the Sea of Thieves. Let me tell you about playing with Matt in a multiplayer game, yeah? <laughs> this is Matt, yeah? We're going along. You see another ship. You're like, right, okay, Matt, get on the cans. We can start shooting. All you hear is tap, 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 tap. And he's texting this bloody girl. He's like, Matt, come on, get on the fucking cannons. Come on, let's go. And he's like, tap, tap. This is one of those moments you're like, what, what, what life choices have I made to end up here? <laughs> um, Why am I in this situation yeah. right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Will mining have mobile compatibility then? Mob mo yeah. MOBA compatibility? <laughs> what? Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Mobile, <laughs> mobile app, like you're we, there, yeah, yeah. we suddenly yeah. went from one thing to another. <laughs> They're trying to get them super yeah. and, and will there be mining drones? There will be drones at some point in Star Citizen. As to whether you can use them for, for, for mining is a, an entirely different question. So yeah, quite, very quite, yeah, yeah. Very safe answer there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there will be mining. Yeah. There will be What's your favourite ship? In My game ship. and not in game. Ah, there you go. Um, you got both. In game at the moment, I'd probably still say. Um, God. So the the one upcoming I'm really looking forward to is the Hurricane. Right. Okay. Yeah. The SWAT cat shit. I, 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 love the, I love the look of it. And, oh, yeah. and the artist working on it, um, it's just really, really de dedicated to what he does. Who's like, the artist? Elwin. Elwin. So here we, yeah, exactly, yeah. And obviously, everyone, everyone knows Elwin. And uh, he's, just, he's one of the most hard, you know, hardcore working guys I know. And he's just really passionate about everything. Not like the UK guys. What about yeah, exactly. me, Lou? I'm one of the most hardworking people well, you know. Well, let's, you know. <laughs> Define hard working and I want to like texting your missus. <laughs> Not missus, friend. <laughs> missus is friend. We should get Ricky round and to give him a performance review right here. Oh, okay. please, God, no. <laughs> so a few mechanics questions that people are bringing up. We've actually answered a couple times before. Things like, uh, will we have different kinds of drills and stuff? Th those have been answered and kind of confirmed already. Yeah, I mean, um, just, to, to, just to address that, I mean, right. one of the, the sole focus of 3 2 is. Uh, rock mining so it's rocks on planetary surfaces you know when you're talking about different resources you know like the potential for liquids or gases like you know future TM discussion right and it's only like rock mining it's not yeah. liquids we're not no. doing gases yeah just for the for, for just the three two we're focused on rocks on planetary surfaces and you'll break them down into small rocks yeah. oh, you can mine <laughs> rainbows if you like what do you yeah. want you know like I, I try to do all these things for you. And he says Matt, he's working on. Try to do all know. these things for you, and all you ever do is shout at me. <laughs> oh. 
I go home and cry every night. Yeah, I bet it's the tears. Yeah. Lubricate. <laughs> what? Well, at least you don't know where I live. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We're, we're we're yeah. Are, are, are you challenging chat to find yeah, out where you no, live? No. Where does Matt live? <laughs> Go. No, Whoever because... answers that can win an, an, an address that yeah, Matt's what? giving away. <laughs> <laughs> because Matt is so obsessed yeah, with the address. Ask him for it when you, when you find his house. Yeah, but this Three is... address from Matt. Yeah. This is where I'm getting into a taxi tonight and Matt just goes, you thought you could get away easily. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we I will get your address. You want to learn about my privacy mechanics? <laughs> um, you know. If, no, he'd already be in your home when you open the door but I yeah. told you we're all there <laughs> I've been expecting you Mr Lightfoot <laughs> well we don't wait guess, three we? inches from Matt what did you write that I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so how much of the process of creating mining is usable in other upcoming professions so good question well, I mean good. I, I, I can't specify other upcoming professions but what I can say is that you know one of our sole fo one of our big focuses is building systems for the long term development. So we're also looking at, you know, what's currently what do we currently want for mining? Also what do we want long term and how do we make these things work not just in the short term but also in the long term. Yeah. As Erin and Luke also said in their panel, you know, as with everything, right, we we will never ever be able to predict every potential use. No. I'm sure, you know, as I also said, you know, there'll be ways that you guys use things that we can't even predict. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have mining like, laser lightsaber fights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, you know, or maybe you're like, I don't know, laser fighting with mining yeah, beams or something, yeah. you know. Definitely. Yeah, um, you know. so somebody in chat's asking for a update for the dogfighting competition. There was a shouting then, but I didn't yeah. quite yeah, someone's catch. Someone's shouting now a bit late to uh, They've all lost. Carrot. They've decided oh, against it. Uh, the fuck are you doing? That's the <laughs> that's the immortal. What are you doing? Can I see your hat? Ah, look at this. This is by Captain Carrot. He made the concierge top hat. I just wanted to show it off. Is that the off. concierge hat? Yeah. There you go, yeah, man. It suits you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show it off. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I even did my hair this morning. Did you? Know. you? Yeah. Oh, it looks amazing, man. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> Love it. Well, that's a good question. You will the that. extraction laser drag or into the prospector, or will it just simply disappear? So in the initial implementation, we're going to be going, you know, there'll be the disassociation. So you, as you're extracting, it'll go straight from the rocks into your crates. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no, like, physical... Yeah. But, uh, like, the, the actual demo on the ATV, we saw it break up. Yeah. And it floated away like it was in space. That's because there's no That's gravity on the test level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, right now, we're, all, we're already on the, uh, you know, the testing on planets, so, you know, you do get the gravity, and it kind of... You will get an explosion, they'll, I say, almost bounce out, but they, they'll go yeah, away no. from the center, and you'll have a velocity propelling them from that. And it will make you're... sense due to the gravity. Yeah. 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 So you're very lucky to have a design producer here, because you can just ask him all the questions, because he looks after, you know, I'm not sure if he said it, you know, after all the ATX design, who do all the shops, all the, you know, system design, all you're the systems in the friend. game, you are, yeah. <laughs> level wow. design for the PU, yep. everything you want to know, ask away. This is the guy. Who yeah, knows I mean, so, I mean, oh, just, he's just yeah, just oh, he's ready. Ready. taking the jacket off. I'm meaning business. Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, Luke, Luke is maybe overstating it because obviously with our global teams as well, like deflecting away from his ship question. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. Focus on this guy. So obviously, like with our teams in ATX, like you know, Rob Reininger, you know, he's a design. Obviously, he's a design lead, but also I'm heavily supported by the the, the uh, producers in in ATX with Jake Ross. And McMoney's, um, who has the best name ever. McMoney's. I thought that was McMoney's. Yeah, I thought that Just was a nickname for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Like like, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like you know, those guys help us because obviously they're in the time zone, mm. right? So you know, Jake produces Rob on a, like a day, day in day out basis. But when we're looking at like you know, what things affect the design department, you know, Jake and I work very very closely with Todd as well. Yeah. Um, you know. Todd and I get on quite well, as you may have guessed from the Sweet Princess nickname. <laughs> you know, I take great pleasure in making him fatter. You um, have a special relationship with Todd Puppy, don't you? I mean, you know, he likes his unicorns, and you know, 
<laughs> so, media mining ship. Media mining <laughs> ship. So, yes. I will say, actually, um, what we're actually thinking about at the moment, now that more of the systems are coming online and we know what kind of gameplay we're actually getting, which is sort of a new thing, because in the past where it's been, you know, we've been trying, let's take the prospect, for example, we knew that doing that we wanted to do mining, right? And the prospector came into development because we wanted to actually flesh out mining. Problem is priorities changed and we had the prospector before mining unfortunately came online. So what we're doing now is that Matt and I are actually trying to work together. God Trying. forbid, God forbid, <laughs> you know. It looks like a great and actually go, okay, now that these systems are coming online, what are the you know sort of impacts on the prospector itself? What do we need to change to make sure mining actually properly works? So now that we know what's coming online and we actually have a roadmap for the next year, right. and with Matt's next help, year, oh, we haven't told us about this roadmap. It's great, right? <laughs> exactly. And right. here's what yeah. I prepared earlier. <laughs> you know, um. So now a lot of the discussions are actually happening in terms of okay. What vehicles can we put into the game that actually bring something towards gameplay, right? Not just, okay, well, what can we sell because people would like it, right? It actually yeah. ties in with what, you know, gameplay we have. So yeah. I'm really actually looking forward to actually, you know, what's coming out in 2019 in terms of, you know, concept ships and, you know, into development. So it's going to be a really good time. So you are ships, right? Uh, ships and locations, yes. Right. Yes. So um, you were, did you work on the Reclaimer? Reclaimer, yeah. Well, producer, yes. Yes. So, um, a lot of questions that I get on chat regarding the Reclaimer involve the actual, like, path, the pathway of scrap. How does it get into the ship, right? So, the Reclaimer has the claw, the Reclaimer yeah. has the chute, and it has the grinder. But how does it get from A to B? And will it go from A to B in a physical way, or will it kind of just like, uh, as Matt said from mining, just happen? So that's more of a design question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was too focused on picking up the beer, so you had to repeat yeah, the you question. Were like, you were really focusing it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long question. That's just, 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 how does, min, how all does that. scrap metal get from A to B in a reclaimer? Yeah. I would say that would be a question for the producer that's going to be of the salvaging mechanic, which currently isn't me. It will be you, know, though, will it? I don't know. I can't predict. <laughs> <laughs> I already tell. You're now signed up. See, it's one. it's only because you know everyone else is getting grey hairs in the office and they're jealous, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I mean, it's it's a good question to be fair because obviously we, it's one of the examples of we put the ships into development yeah. without the gameplay there in place yet, right? Yeah. So the reclaim is there, but it doesn't have the gameplay yet, yeah. right? So. Yeah. The next bit is we have obviously this year, uh, one of the best things about Star Citizen that I'm actually, you know, it's great to work for is you have specific feature teams working on very specific features on their own backlog, right? So yep. Matt, for example, on the EU vehicle feature team, they're just going through, okay, what, what are the backers wanting? What's Chris wanting? What's Aaron wanting, reclaim. right? Exactly. So <laughs> mining, salvaging, wrestling. all these <laughs> things are, unfortunately, something we're trying to figure out at the moment, right? And sort of retrofitting it into the ships that are supposed to use it, right. so to speak, right? So those kind of questions is, well, we've built you a shiny asset, right? Yeah. And we know roughly where it's, you know, salvaging and mining is supposed to go and roughly what the, uh, the high level idea behind it was supposed to be, but right? in terms yeah. of how it actually is supposed to work, what it's going to benefit the players, um, okay. all of that is still, you know, still up in the air. All right, so and just to expand on this, one, you know, it, right now we're talking about ships and we're talking about design. Obviously, you know, previously we've designed ships speculatively for, you know, how do we think that this feature might come on? Right. But now we're working more in line and, and we're working closer. As Aaron said also in his panel, you know, as we as the company's getting older and more mature, we're developing these pipelines and we're becoming better and things will continue to iterate yeah. and get better. So it means that... Work alongside yeah, so you guys are getting better designed ships and we're getting features into the game. And you're making the ships knowing what features are coming into the actual yeah. ships, so you have it already planned. Yeah, so and to expand on this, also Luke with being the locations producer and me being the level design producer, one of the things we're working on right now is a joint schedule. So basically, we're making sure that our teams are totally aligned, right? So. Right. Our pipeline goes from level design doing the white box, working very, very closely with art. For efficiency. Yeah, and also we've, we've put, you know, one of the things that we're literally we're working on on Friday is like, you know, being able to make sure that in those pipelines that we've got system design. So, you know, when we talk about, um, you know, some of the concept art you guys have seen for for Lawville has the transit systems, right? That's a big, big system, right? So. Really, we need a system designer to design that right. before we can do transit systems for the law bill, right? There's no point making a nice, pretty transit system with a, well, how do you actually have this how does yeah. it function? Yeah, right? you, need the, you need it to work. Yeah, so Luke and I are currently working on the, you know, the pipeline and, and the plan there to make sure that we're not 
we're not just including art and level design, but we're also including systems and also making sure that, you know, live designer are aware when it comes to those certain stages. Because, you know, Luke Presley's team, who Luke is somewhere here today, um, yeah. find the ball head somewhere, yeah. <laughs> is able to plug his work into it as well. Because, you know, the, there is the potential there for it being, you know, you having to deliver things to there and, you know, plug in missions. Um, you know, one of the things that we will be looking at as well is also Rob Reininger's team with shops and also, you know, how do we plug all, how do we bring everything together in some kind of ordered chaos? Yeah, it's, it's like everything's yeah. being worked on separately. Yeah. But ultimately, it's going to make a big system that all works yeah. as one. Yeah. So, so communication in the office. Yeah. Other than like your Nerf guns. <laughs> well, you see, it's important. Luke sits behind me and to the left, and I've, I've perfected now. I can kick off from my desk to slide over to his with one movement now. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. It's perfect. I've been practicing it for weeks, and I've nailed it now. Um, I almost need, need a bell to go ding, 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 level yeah. design. <laughs> we need attention. Yeah. So, um, with you saying that things are like working more alongside each other now, so like when you're building the ships now yeah. with the mechanics almost like kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's, it's not. It's not like you know. We're no, oblivious to how things are supposed no, to work, right? What I was going to say was, it, is um, in the long run, does that mean waiting longer for your ship is better for you? So all these people say, Carrick, when? It is. It's going to be better if it's being made later on because it your is, mechanics because are going to be in the new process. New ships going right? into, be into development that require gameplay. Ideally, for example, unfortunately, we've put the whole sea bit on a hold at the moment, right? It's a very, it's a very good state on the art side, but we don't want to release don't it. Tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we, everyone knows it. it's been in ATVs. We've showed it off. Yeah. Yeah. Not showing the art progress, right? It's a very pretty art asset. You want it to work but properly. Bringing it into the game right now wouldn't actually give you a lot to it, right? It right. makes no sense at this Stafford, point. Stafford, prospector. <laughs> <laughs> Idris, but, Idris, reclaimer. <laughs> but this is the point, right? Hopefully ships moving forward that come out, they'll come with gameplay. And that's the whole focus moving forward. It's, mm. okay, we know how to produce pretty art. We know how to do ships and locations, but... Can we tie the two together? Yeah. And now Aaron, Chris, Tony, Todd, everyone's on the same page. Aren't you going, okay, you know what? What a good idea. make us do together. something. <laughs> well, exactly. And, and this is where it's very important that production on the same page because it's very, you know, I can go ahead with Ian Leyland as the art director on the PU and go, right, okay, you know what? Lowville, sweet. We're going to make some pretty art assets. Bring it out, right? But what are you actually going to do? And everything yeah. you do in it and, you know, the limitations of it is on Matt's teams here, right? And so it's very important that we're on the same page on that. Yeah, you know, like, and I mean, I think it's fairly evident, you know, like, we get on well. You know, I, we get on well. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I hate this guy. <laughs> well, I hate him now. I'm just, so much shit. I'm we, just we waiting for all of those tilted. awful vods. We got that whole, yeah, that, that information you gave us. Uh, <laughs> we have Jen in chat who pretty much clips everything. So yeah, oh, sweet there, Jesus. There will you can't be escape that whole. Quite a lot of clips, I'm afraid. <laughs> who am I? Yeah. Am I, am oh, I born? Oh, it was the, already been clipped. It was the scariest moment of my life. Like, I the, the one thing that I can remember and was when I actually came around in the hotel lobby was like, you know, like when a kid's nervous behind their parent. I, the only thing I can remember, <laughs> I can remember not knowing where I was or which country. I can just remember the the guy in the hotel telling telling her where the hospital was and being like, "She's safety. Whatever you do, don't lose her. If you lose her, you'll die." And I'm just like, "Oh don't god, leave. oh god!" It's, and it was like fight or flight. Right. And it was like, yeah, but I'm all good now and I'm back to producing things. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah. And you're doing the job you you paid to do. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like so. Obviously, us working together, you know, we get on quite well, so it means that whenever we've got a problem, we're very, very blunt about it, and we, we solve stuff really that quickly. that makes, like, a lot of difference. Yeah. Like, if, if you're working in, like, a working environment, and you're working on something together, and you don't get on, or not, not even just don't get on, just don't have that relate, don't work relationship, yeah. having this, you know, I touch your bum, you touch mine, <laughs> that relationship, so oh, no, that's just You're definitely back. not getting fine. in the taxi tonight <laughs> unless you've got money. <laughs> Who's booked this taxi? Then? Am I? We got <laughs> it's, a limo. it's a Star Citizen limo. It's no, fine. I mean, you're, you're completely right, right? Because because we have that working relationship, but also get quite on, right? As we said earlier, we play Sea of Thieves together, right? While playing Sea of Thieves, we're discussing Star Citizen, right? Yeah, how do we as we all go, it's like, oh, this will be called in Star Citizen. This will exactly. be called in Star Citizen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the efficiency of how you were, like you say, you can be blunt, you can be like, have you made this or not? And you're like, no, I'll do it now. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So the efficiency of not having to um, avoid the whole social yeah. constructs of yeah. let's be polite first and foremost. You can just be like, 
Yeah. Nah, let's fucking make this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> make it work. Like, and like, we also know, like, we also know that I know, like, Luke's gonna level when we give him a hard level, and so I like, right. I need this. I don't need to play games. This is when I need it by. Luke will deliver it by then. Same for me and him, right? So it means that we don't need to go around and like beat around the bush. It's like I need this now. Or there's I need no, this there's now. no bush beat. The only problem is they're both <laughs> been playing Sea of Thieves saying, have you finished that fucking thing at work yet? You shouldn't be playing at the yeah. moment. Why are you no. playing a game right now? What I, what I get right <laughs> now is here? Luke goes, I can't play Sea of Thieves tonight. I've got meetings late at work. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Let me get you out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like again, you know, because we've got you know three, well, basically three different countries. You know, we've got the UK, we've got uh, the US, and we've also D. got DE. Um, D. E. Yeah, you know, we've got meetings that can go on quite late as well. Like you know, we take yeah. meetings from home and and we and things like that. Which amuses a lot of people because I've got a rocking horse in my uh, behind my computer. He does. Every time we have a Skype conversation with him at home, that rocking horse comes up. <laughs> does it rock? It's just a, on its own, it's just yeah. his rocking horse. Todd Pappy. Todd Pappy may or may not have a picture of me riding the rocking horse, <laughs> but we can't can't confirm that. We can. Just like we can't confirm mining. You know, we can try and confirm. Like, it. You know the features features in mining for three three. We can't confirm anything. You guaranteed um, it. You did. You guaranteed it for three two. Yeah, I know. I guaranteed it for three you two, but already, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't guarantee the feature for three three and beyond. But I think if we get in contact with Todd and we find yeah. this, we could yeah. rocking horse. Yeah, we could guarantee some three point three. Yeah, maybe we could find that. We could do that. <laughs> yeah. We just have Brian. Oh no, Brian knows him quite well. Yeah. So we've got some other questions. So <laughs> oh, how Jesus. old? How old are you? How old, how old are you? I think we should propose this to everyone, so we See, don't, no one feels quite left good, out. You, like, Developer under 30, probably not 30 anymore. Under 30, are you? Under 30? You're over 30. Under 25. 25. 13, 25 plus enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the only reason I grew, you know, grew the beard was to look older. To be fair, when the first business in cotton, yeah, it did, yeah, you needed the beard. But let, let's put one thing straight. If anyone's seen Matt a year or even two years ago, he was a, it was a chubby bunny there, right? He's done quite well. And, I know. You know it's, it's, that's what working at Star Citizen does to you. If, you go, you if you go to Britain Con's website, last year there was a picture of me when I was 30 kilos heavier and I was, I was, I was chubby. And that was 2.6 and overtime food every day. Yeah. Um, that's the stress of getting 3.0 out. Yeah. I wouldn't even say it shreds like, the weight up. It's, I don't find it stressful, right? Because, I mean, a lot of people look at our look at our jobs and go, "Oh, it must be so stressful delivering things." It's like it's not, because you've got two choices really. Um, you know, you've got either A, do we delay, or do we cut features, right? So it's a it's a very simple choice. Yeah, now it's become. Yeah. Now we've moved over to the quarterly releases. Yeah. Before cut, that. Yeah. Though, it was. Uh, was it more stressful before that? Do you feel more relieved now we've got the roadmap? Um. Yeah. Yes and no. <laughs> I mean, it adds different challenges, right? So, one of the, one of you know one of my fears is that necessarily you know when we're moving things around, how do we message that to you guys? Yeah. I personally see no shame in us shifting things to a ne next release by saying, hey, it's not ready. Yeah. This is when it's going to be ready. This is why, right? I personally have no problems with that. I mean, God, I worked on you know I worked on Day Z, like. I mean, I, I'm not going to hide behind any, you know, blanket or anything. Daisy like, went. Daisy <laughs> went. I have no yeah. idea. I've he's been gone for three. He's on a mountain years. right now. Uh, he's, he's in Kiwi Land, learning to dive. From the last thing I saw. Um, but you know, but yeah, I, I, I don't think Luke or I finds production particularly stressful. The only time that it gets really fun is when we're coming up to demos, and then you've got a hard deadline that's like, you have 24 hours. Yeah, like it's, like, yeah, it's like a really bad version of Scrap Heap yeah, Challenge. Yeah. Like, you know, you've Put got this to give this. Yeah, you, and you've got to make Build sure. Build me something beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and always, always, what you have is in the, you know, you have daily meetings up until the demo, and you've got Chris in there and Aaron, and you've got those guys that are like, oh my god, this is awesome, but this thing is also this thing could really, this is the gem, right? Um, you know, and then you're you're like, right, okay, so you're straight out of the meeting, and then we need to set that going. And that's when it can get a little bit tetchy, but... To the point where Matt's sitting there, he's writing, responding to emails, he's trying to do 20 things at once, and you come, you come over to Matt, it's like, Matt, and he's like, what? <laughs> 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 to be fair, I get like that, it's just like, yeah. what do you want to do? That was last year. It was last year, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have a question uh, from somebody in chat who asks, if we're giving away a $200 uh, ship, 
I think they're talking about the uh, the Keep Risen Con uh, going thing at the bottom right. And no, we're giving away a Origin Jumpworks 100i very soon. And the money that's at the bottom right has nothing to do with the giveaways. Um, but Britizen Con is a fan-organized and fan-run uh, like a convention, and so the money that's going, that's being donated through the, through the stream down there at the bottom right, is going directly towards the running costs of the of the event, basically. So that is that. And again, thank you to all the people who have uh, recently uh, donated as well while we were talking. And uh, of course, they're up here. Thank you guys. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, and we have we have paid attention to the donation, and we, we really thank you so much for our donations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the ships are separate from the donations. Yeah, so, so we, exclamation! I don't uh, give us give me ships. Give me ships. ships. Give yeah. me ships. Yeah. And when are we going to um, do the Which running? Is, give us ships. <laughs> give us <laughs> ships. <laughs> draw it, Matt. Draw the draw the giveaway. What do I have to, to be fair? Yeah. Okay. How do I draw it? Hold that mouse. And press the button. <laughs> oh my button. god. You can't, honestly, you can't fuck up. Well, hang on a minute. It's hang on. It is foul yeah. Do it soon. Just don't delay. Yeah. <laughs> so do it soon. Do I not need to close the giveaway then pick a winner? You can do whatever no, you want. No, I don't want to do anything. Oh, click <laughs> reset then. <laughs> reset? <laughs> <laughs> reset? <laughs> if I can do... Just hit, just hit pick a winner. <laughs> anything other than reset. And the winner of... The what, one that's one. Oh, yes. oh. Press reset. That's actually ripped. Come on. Done it. Red Faction 500. How do you see that? Where did that it's come from? Congratulations, Mr. Oh. Red Faction so, 500. There you go. Congratulations. So, uh, you have ben. just won yourself. Oh, and he's in chat. He's right there. Red Faction 500. Congratulations. Yay. All right, yeah. sir. Well done, man. Where's the paper? Um, I don't know. I don't write. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what, what, what the things we can talk about that's going to interest you guys. So, you work on ships. Yes. You can't tell yeah. us too much because Mark. ships are like the biggest part of the yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's one of the oh, big problems, go, yeah. right? There's a lot of <laughs> what I do involves, problem. okay, it's what's problem. actually upcoming. Obviously, you guys know what we're aiming right. for, for in terms of up until 3.5, okay. right? But I have schedules beyond that, right? So, so, let's, about them. so let's talk about the past. Tell you about them. And you also have the concept lineup hmm. as well, right? Which we have another producer, Benjamin Parr, who works with us. Right. Um, on the concept side, and he helps you sort of produce on, you know, with Paul Jones on that, right? Okay. But we know, okay, you know, what, what what do we need to actually put into development? What concept ships do we need to support that, which right. can go into development, which then Chris now and prioritize? So yeah, a lot of that is unfortunately. It's like, so Luca, uh, tell us about you, what you do, and it's like, unfortunately, it's a lot of right. Oh, right. Can we talk about that right now? So you can't talk about the future. So let's talk about the past. So. In Foundry 42, yes. what has been the most challenging ship for your team to make? Challenging ship? Yeah. Jesus. That's a good question. God, I'd probably still say the Idris, to oh, be yeah. honest. Just just purely because you have the the Squadron 42 elements to consider, right? It's not just making it for the PU, where the PU you know, still has a lot of features that they're figuring out and implementing and putting into the game, right? You know, um, one example being um, components for it, right? We had to actually find rooms and spaces to actually go okay let's retrofit where these components go into the ships right so on squadron you also had many issues where okay well we have pcap that go into there we have missions we have characters and interactive things and you know I don't let me get into how many hours we spent trying to figure out things like right how should a character interact with a locker should they go in you know how, how, how should that work okay when 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 you're getting out of the bed you know the very first thing you said it saw in uh, um, the last demo we showed off, right, which was the VS. Right, you wake up. The amount of discussions that happen in terms of, right, how should the bed, bed look? What are you facing? What are you looking at? What are you going to look at? Right, so all that, probably because of that reason, because it's basically a, a FPS level flying in space, right? So actually that... To accomplish, I don't think a lot of appreciate a lot of people maybe appreciate the, the amount of tech and complications behind getting an Idris to land and fly. But someone like Nathan Deersley, the um, now Squadron 42 art director and previously um, ship director, who's been working here for many years, he would actually, you know, we saw it for the very first time last year, actually flying around the planet. We're like, wow, we, you know, we all knew this is what I'm aiming for, but yeah. here it is. We see it now. Sit um, down, so Luke. We should share a chair. 
I was going to say. There you go. Really don't, there you go. I'll, I'll join Matt here. There you go. That's better now. So I guess to follow up on that, are there any easy ships? Easy ships? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not really easy, but our pipeline is very established now in terms of we know how to make fighters. If you tell us, right, we want another um, you know, a Gladius. We want a another, you know, the 100i, for example, right? right? On the concept side, we knew what we were aiming for. We know how to put into the pipeline. As long as there's no new gameplay elements to each of them, obviously, you know, when we come up with different fuel aspects and, you know, those discussions happen, that's a different aspect which is then plug into the ship pipeline. But if it's just something that we put into development that doesn't have any new gameplay, then that's there. We know how many people we need. We know who's needed on, on you know, across different teams. Um, so, yeah. what's that? Jesus. So, um, so that's all there now. Yeah. I think it was this. Thank See, you. and just for chat, I'm going to do... Excellent. Oh, oh, there we go. There you go, there you go. Sorry, someone, someone's just typed into chat, bromance alert. Bromance alert? What's this? Uh, you know look at the way Matt keeps looking at Luke. Oh, well, Matt. No. Yeah, maybe no, something he's not, not telling me. Well, I was like, don't fucking say it. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. All right, cheers, guys. I'm just cheers. scared of what he's going to say next. So that's the problem. You have someone who's who works with Matt in a professional capacity, but also knows a lot of uh, insider secrets. So. That was well, no, a I mean, back, back, back to you. Do you have NDA between each other? Yeah. Sorry. Do you have NDA between each other? We're just going to pre each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, this isn't sake. This is a yuzu liqueur. Yeah. So you mix it with stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, back to your question in terms of you know <laughs> difficult ships. Obviously, Idris is not in the PU, but when we released the Starfarer and recently the Reclaimer, we know okay, roughly this is how long it should take. Hopefully, it's what we're aiming for. But when we actually get it done, we're like, oh wow! What lovely foolishness have we? Won't hey, we have Ricky! Suddenly we've got Ricky Jumpy back. Here, Ricky. Yeah, look at Ricky, senior producer of the PU. Hey everyone! Oh, the guy delivering the PU. Yeah. No new questions up the cup. There's some pressure. You're right there. Yeah. Are they actually, uh, you know, having a good discussion, contributing we are. really nicely, or they're making fools of themselves? Best hair, look like at that, I agree. Best, Best hair. hair. Occasionally we talk Best about Star Citizen. Occasionally. Occasionally. <laughs> and when they do, so, they reveal so much stuff that you're going to be like. So, right now, Ricky, what we were talking about was how locations, level design, um, are working more closely together okay. to provide synergy okay. between the teams. Uh, so so we, we, wow. we could actually go <laughs> one like that, that came out of nowhere. We could go one further because we've now got. On art and design, but how it ties into project management. Yeah. This is where Ricky comes in. <laughs> but we need a bench back here. I, don't think I think there's a lot going on. I don't want to cramp your style, gentlemen. I think you should enjoy it. There's more than area, come on in. <laughs> we just see Ricky's beard here. So, <laughs> that's all Ricky, this they're guy. asking you to come down so they can see your immaculate hair. Yeah. Oh, there you go, look at this. Excellent. That's so, guys, I'd like to point out that the only thing that takes longer than one of our quarterly schedules is Ricky's hair in a morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave a three to five minute estimate. Yeah, earlier. he lied earlier. <laughs> he lied earlier about it. We did ask him. Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to watch the dev panel, but guys, enjoy. Speak Cheers. You See you, Ricky. Is that starting now? Nicola, did you want to come on? I would also like to point out wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. We still have Nicola. Here you go. Nicola, Hello. one of our producers. Who are you and what do you do? Yeah, tell us about yourself. Come here. Uh, I'm the audio it's producer. The audio the producer. And EU One Gameplay Feature Team. Right, and what is uh, EU gameplay currently working on? Ship item kiosk. Ship I are you able to tell us anything about that? And we what do they sound like? In the ATV, so I'm pretty sure. They can tell us everything about it. Though. No, yeah. Yeah. we just yeah. we just work on the wireframes and the beginning of the setup, and so what the flow going to be, and we start with the first assets now. So. So can you do a demo of how it's going to sound? Sound? Yes. No, I'm going to grab one of my sound designers here. Just make it up. It's yeah. <laughs> How would it sound? Like, beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh, no, don't, don't make me do this. <laughs> no, no, come on, do it. I think you do yeah. For the stream. For the stream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting, you know, eventually when we get modding and then we do a sound pack like they got in Armour, it's like yeah. all of the noise are just people's voice like... <laughs> 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 Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah. Just get it all as a, a, a complete CD. Like yeah. And then we can all play yes. it together. Also known as yeah, like, other top hits, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the stars in the Admiral himself. Yes. The Organ. Right, the Admiral. The Armour. Yes. Well, hello, Admiral. 
Hello, stream. Hello, stream. Uh, <laughs> and that was the last you'll see. Someone of Chris. rescued her. <laughs> she invited herself in. So she I don't did. Think she did. She a wanted to be here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, the admiral's distracting us, unfortunately. Um, I'm sorry. Can we transition to the dev panel? Um, there's no audio. Yeah. We can't get audio. Yeah. Moist is distracted. Um, Cheers, Matt. Yeah. Okay. We have video, but no audio. <laughs> okay, no. At least she's never going to see it. Oh, I will murder you. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. I'm only smiling to hide the pain. <laughs> Ship guys, why is there so much empty space behind the EXO office on the Indris? What's the EXO doing? I think you'll find that. Voice. I think you'll find that by the time the Indris actually comes out, a lot of it is actually going to be a bit more cluttered, if you will. Right? It's a bit empty now because we're still figuring out a lot of, as we said before, the game, the gameplay, what should go into it. So I wouldn't ask that again in one year, and I'll bet you that yeah. won't be the same case. Give it a year. Exactly. Yeah. And they'll find stuff to put in. Exactly. <laughs> Tell the little kid-faced guy to dump the sake into the beer, then it's called a uh, Sake Mac. Oh! Career. Nice. Go on. Nice. No, I'm not. I've got a... No. We're professional, Luke. Professional face. <laughs> Do you trust and, these producers? And freeze frame. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the office face. So we're uh, apparently they're going to the ex the next dev panel. Idris rework confirmed. Like Idris rework. Yeah. No. So let me put that something straight there. There's no Idris rework so watch, on watch, the schedule watch Luke at all. Panic. On the schedule. Watch Luke <laughs> panic. So you're saying that the Idris is perfect? Yeah. <laughs> Serial killer face. <laughs> Which one? Who are you going to murder at the order? I do at the moment. <laughs> What is this? Is this like suddenly turned into the subreddit already. roast me? Yeah, 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 yeah. People go on about reworks quite a lot in the, you know, I see on the forums, and we discussed it in uh, Call the Devs recently as well, where if you take the Gladius, any ship as of the Gladius, that is the gold standard in terms of, obviously there's still more to go into the ships, but in terms of quality and pipeline, the Gladius was our gold standard. We sort of go, right, well, there we go. We know how to make it. We still know how to make fine line. We know how to do damage. That's what we do. Anything before that, yes, we've been trying to rework, like the Cutlass, like the Idris, like the, you know. So a lot of that was, what's sort of the question there? Writing like slash fan fiction. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about the Idris. Obviously, yes, it's had a rework now, but the latest you saw in the demos is the latest one, right? There's right. no rework on that going on. So, if you really want to know about this, guys, there is no rework. No rework. So, just when we're talking about just... I've caught progress. Personal thing, when we're talking about, you know, Vandal Must Die, everybody should have heard of Operation Pitchfork. Right. I would like to pose and put this as a challenge out to everybody watching. Vandal Lives Matter. There are people that have been oppressed by the UEE, and you should fight for the Vandal. Like, what? What? You want them to actually attack they, ourselves? They have been pushed yeah. from, you know, Shoot they're yourself. nomads. They're yeah. nomads. They live on ships. They don't have a homeworld. The UEE have crushed them. Yeah. The foolish and domineering humans of the UEE need to know what they do. The fuck did that Maya wants to eat their brains. <laughs> wow. Maya has practiced that. <laughs> There's a few questions here which I can answer. In terms of, um, will I be able to keep my wing doors on the 300 series? There's no plans to redesign the 300 series, but simply to update it. Same to the... Um, the Aurora that we had in the game, so we should, should hopefully be alright on that. They're not changing size. Sorry? They're not changing size. It might get a little bigger yeah. in terms of to get, but you know, we'll see. Are we talking no, no, about um, like cutlass bigger there, or there how big? There is a 300 I rework in, obviously, everyone knows about that, right? It's on 3 4, yeah. right? How so? much can you talk about that? Like, uh, can you well, say what size it's going to go to? To what, no, no, no. To what extent? We, we don't know yet. All right. right? It's all right, going to right, start right. development very soon. All right, all right. And it's currently still on track to right. meet the end of the year, right? right so all that's all right. I can tell you. But other questions there which, which came up in terms of when are we getting Art Corp? Okay, it's still on track for 3.4, right? So hopefully, hopefully. I've got to, I'm not going to crucify myself, <laughs> crucify myself so here, but it should be hopefully be right. That. You've already Blue, crucified Hopefully you've done that. Terror progress. Te well, te terror progress. All right. As we said before, right? 
rather than doing a million things at once, we actually want to make sure we do something properly. Art Corp, Lawville, so Terra currently is um, on hold, so we can do it properly. Uh, what what else do we have? These questions, you're like fucking Blade. boom, boom. Blade. Blade. He's, you know he's gotten hooked. You know he's, environments, right? He's seen the stardom. When? When? Glaive rework. When? when? Ever answer the when? When? Just say, Glaive soon rework is currently not on the schedule, but soon. Um, soon you know we, we have obviously got um, feedback in terms of you know oh it, you know does it look as good as the other ships? It's not currently on the roadmap in terms of to redo it. Because you know personally, I I like I like the Glaive. It looks a really really good looking ship. But Can we get? Uh, I think you should horse. read Doctor Drone's comment, horse. Luke. What's that? Look, needs to be on uh, the camera more often. All this great stuff he keeps confirming. <laughs> <laughs> Anything Luke said I'm should be taken with a pinch of salt, yeah. not confirmed. I'm simply confirming guesses. what's already on the roadmap or what I've already said in um, calling the devs. So if, <laughs> if you want to pledge for a Luke to have another drink, I mean, we are, we do have a thing right here to keep British Zinc on going. No, 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 <laughs> no, directly no we are perfectly That's sober. We're going to stay that pounds way. Beer. We're, we're going to stay, stay this way place. because I really don't want to see all of Brian's wrestling buddies like <laughs> honestly you don't know that is i find that really personally intimidating he knows all these wrestlers but are they, are they hispanic he the so rock. they have those yeah uh, those yeah. what they like, call the masks the hispanic luchadors no yes. he knows actual like wwe wrestlers and i know it's fake now i've grown up but like no, they're so still mean spoilers, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> kids out there, yeah. so i've got a question for you yeah right so the 300 series is not currently being worked on right now, but it is still on track for the end of the year, as you said. Yes. What don't you like about the 300i? Right? What don't I like about, about the 300i? The series? I suppose it's the the quality, right? The reason we're putting it into development again is mm. because it's not quite up to par with the rest of our ships, mm. right? And what do you mean exactly by that? In terms of it's shit. <laughs> yeah. So be before we had the pipeline in place, before you know Nathan Deersley came on board and went, hold on, guys. Now he's on board. It's he's like he's on board now, but he basically came boom. in and basically yeah. revamped, you know, how we build our ships. Right. Yeah. We don't need to model every single detail. We can, you know, with the, there's techniques around you can actually. Cut corners. No, not cut corners, but you can provide quality with, you know, while making it work in game. Which before, if you take yes. the freelancer, for example. Pledge <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. The fuck you just um, shit that let out? me finish this first. You can hold it. If you take the freelancer, the previous freelancer, for example, into account, right, or the previous constellation, they were more expensive in game than the new revisions, right? And that's because of the new methods we have, the new techniques we're actually building these ships. Mm. They look better, they run better. So moving forward, like the, 300, the 300 series as well will follow the similar pattern yeah. as well. They're quite expensive in the game. And when we rework them, they'll look better and they'll run better That's as well. like, it's not just like an aesthetic. No, it's not update. just an aesthetic. It's, it's literally the, the amount of memory it takes to produce the ships. Exactly, yeah. For each person. Is shrunk, and that's what that's what's incredible about what CIG are doing, what you guys yeah. are doing, is that you create these assets, but you make them less expensive in terms of actual yeah. data to, to render them, and they look better. Yeah, and I mean that, that's one of the most important aspects, really, going forward in this year. We're not just trying to go right here. You go, brand new place and location. Yeah. Here, brand new ship. Yeah. Does it work in the game, right? And and the mechanics that yeah, it's it's not just a case of let's just make a new ship, let's just yeah. revamp it with the new the new uh, like what? textures and stuff. It's the actual mechanics that are implemented in the ship before the mechanics yeah. are actually ready. Precisely, exactly. And you'll see for this year, right? 3.1, 3.2, there's not really any new locations that you can go to in there. Mm. And there's a reason for that, right? We're waiting for object container streaming, right? Yeah. Once we have that, we can put a lot more onto the planets, into our universe and make it, you know, yeah. more Better. alive, right? We, you, could we do that right now? Yes, but you wouldn't be able to play the game, right? Yeah. So we're yeah. waiting for it, but, you know, it's everyone's interested. In it, so. it is. So, so stop fucking complaining. How will work, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> so just, just before we go on to that, in Skype, you can rename people. Okay. So I've got nicknames for everyone, and my nickname for Luke is Luke Box Luke Davis. He does have that. He does <laughs> yeah. have that. Um, but loot boxes are not a thing in Star Citizen. No. Confirmed. Right now. So where was he? <laughs> no, 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 no. I will highlight. We have our marketing producer over there, Arian, who oh, would God. be able to confirm whether or not As we're getting loot crates. So no, no, let's just let's just take this horse out into the field and like drown it. Like, <laughs> oh, what kind of field do you have? Yeah. It can drown something. It's like fields. It's like a farmer's field. It was I'm a guessing. field with an 
I don't know. A grave for a horse. I was going to yeah. say a puddle, but... Clearly, you've <laughs> done that previously. <laughs> we know what's going on here. You dig your own grave. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. oh, dear God. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Luke boxes. <laughs> uh, so someone, uh, this has been up. I don't know. Really. That's on Reddit. Are going to make seats like a few inches higher so we can see over the dashboard a little bit better? <laughs> so ob obviously you saw that we did um, a sort of um, cockpit um, experience. Um, you know, on, on the Gladius. If you compare the Gladius how it is now compared to how it was um, even even one or two years ago, right? You can actually now you can see the little um, machine gun on the front, right? You can actually see the screens properly. So that at the moment is happening, you know, being considered for all of the ships. So you may see you may see for the ships that currently don't actually work properly in terms of visibility that we're actually going back and like sort of the going. Sorry? The Cutlass. It's a new, the new Cutlass I actually personally quite like. I, I like love it. I love cutlass. the Cutlass. Exactly. There's a big worry that the uh, the, the screens... Can't, I like that. It's like walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be able to go... Race yeah. Up and down. Can we just sit up? Yeah. Like if, if you're if you're a player, so, just was like. So this nope. is this is actually one for Matt as well because last year we had something called the cockpit experience yeah. sprint, right? Which is yep. right. Okay, let's get some designers, let's get some artists together into a room, obviously with other disciplines as well, to go right. How do we make this an awesome experience for the player, right? Mm. And what we have for the new Gladius is awesome. I, I really like it what we have there, right? right? And if you can actually even compare it to some other ships. You can, the difference is night and day, right? Mm. Yeah. So moving forward, we're actually looking into right. How can we implement that into other ships as well? No. And, uh, um, just, 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 just to touch okay. on this, so, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So when we talk about flight experience, you know, Luke specifically talked about the cockpit experience uh, sprint. But actually, right now, as any of our combat pilots will know, is probably the biggest issue impacting, you know, flight balance is IFCS. Um, mm. You know, and some people out there probably watching chat will now be like, curses. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the things that we, we did know with 3.0, 3.1, and now 3.1.2 and 3.1.3 is that IFCS still has some high-level instability. So yeah. for those of you that don't know, IFCS stands for our Intelligent Flight Control System. This is the system that you feed your inputs to, and then that gives, that gives orders to your, uh, your thrust and your ship in which way to maneuver. So... When you see the, the full reticle on the... Also, you all lost the game. Um, but when you see the control mo reticle on your hood, that's the full circle. When you see that jump around very, very sharply, that's IFCS with its instability. One of the things that right. John Pritchett has been focusing on recently um, and is still working on is being able to reduce that instability, and that's to do with the batch update. And that was... IFCS moved to the batch update with 3.0, and now he's moving it back to a dedicated physics thread. So oh, that okay. will hopefully add some flight stability, which will mean that some of our dedica dedicated dogfighters out there dedicated. will be here. D yeah. Dedicated. <laughs> oh, it's fucking dedicated. Um, dedicated. dedicated. <laughs> like, what have we suddenly turned at, you know? Um, dedicated pointers. Yeah. You know, you don't have no idea what you're talking about, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so he's currently working on those instabilities. And once we can get those, that, you know, potentially it's, a, you know, now 3 2. Um, now we've got 313 out. Um, whether we push another patch is to be discussed. Um, Can we confirm? No. <laughs> no, no, you see, yeah. Yeah. I will always tread a careful line yeah. because I can handle my bit. Um, <laughs> Rude. Are we getting Mog Jan ships? Uh, yes, so we're getting Mog Jan ships. Don't worry. So. Nice. Oh are we going to get a free Get the dark gun now. Of course, we're getting more. <laughs> we're yeah. getting more. We'll get yeah. more of everything. Don't worry. So, so more speaking of, of the, the cockpit experience, <laughs> like when I drive a car, I like to like uh, adjust my car. You know, like uh, I have a handle to move forward, backwards, yeah. up and down. Where's this going? I I'd like that level of immersion in yeah, Star Citizen. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, you like it? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> we've also got a question between what's the difference between ESP and IFCS? Well, first of all, is I can't tell you what ESP stands for. What I can tell Extra you... Extra special powers. Uh, stick precision. Uh, uh, something stick precision. But what, but what I can tell you is that basically ESP is your almost aim assist. So this adds a, a circle of your target once you're targeted that slows down your movement over it. So it's easier for you to get... That's for stick control. Yeah. Not for mouse. You can also turn it on for mouse, I believe, in the options menu. You. Um, I think the idea behind it is that if you're using a joystick, you're, you're likely to be less precise, it but it, it, it assists. Yeah. Um, so ESP is 
is kind of an after after effect yeah. on the flight control. Yeah. So it means that you, it's ha it helps you to hit targets. So one of the one of the things that we did when we recognised that you. there were instabilities in IFCS was John actually made e once he'd fixed ESP in three. 3-1, I believe, that fix went into. He also made it so it was very, very, very uh, effective. So it was quite sticky, um, for lack of a better descriptor. Right. So when yeah. you got over the target, it would hold you there and it would move you slower um, so that you could keep that on with the instability. Now, one of the things that he's currently looking into is being able to reduce that down now that we've got we've got some of the uh, some of the IFCS improvements already in testing. Um, right now, those are waiting on him adding the level of stability to Gravlev as well, because also Gravlev is all part of IFCS, and we don't want to right now. Let's not, the Let's not talk you know. about those, yeah. However, with the improvements to IFCS, we noted, noticed a degradation in our testing right. um, of Gravlev against 3.0. So John's currently working on making sure that it's up to the stand, and we should also see that it's more stable, hopefully. Right. So hopefully. All pending testing. Uh, yeah. so, uh, I will not give you a timeline. Really? They will be fixed oh. when when they are fixed. The when it's ready. So awesome. <laughs> That's the problem. It's like actually because when everyone was riding the cyclone, I thought I'll just try the dragon fire one more time. I can't it. Just, it's like, then, it yeah. just, then it just sank into the. Ground. This is why I don't use the dragon fly. <laughs> so well, actually, it was the opposite. So, uh, now it just sinks into the ground. So we we change mode. Uh, yeah, it's like it. nope. <laughs> We've got another question, which is a good one, but Can not. Just have, um, sorry, go on. Quickly, Kujo Rabbit Dog, thank you so much for the 142 pounds. Wow. What? Wow. Yeah. wow. That's a lot of money, it and it's got. Yeah. It is a caveat. He has to get matched. Too much. Much, but <laughs> Far too much. <laughs> Rabbit Dog. Yeah. Thank you so much. It right. goes straight thank into, you. into a Brisbane concert. Thank you very much for that. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You should have just fucking spent it on a plane ticket. Should have came here. Come here, yeah. 142 pounds, 81. Thank you very much, sir. You get mad drunk. drunk. Get mad drunk, indeed. I no. think Vice Citizen, maybe. You challenged Jack. You <laughs> should know by now. No. Challenge no. Jack. I, I challenged I Mac to that. find out where I live, <laughs> and he's going to get in the taxi, and probably. You challenged <laughs> Jack by saying, I, don't, I can handle my drink. Exactly. That was not a challenge, that was just a statement. Sly joke. I need to go and sort out my car parking, but it um, was great meeting you all. Um, it was great. Yep. And uh, Matt, enjoy. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm still stuck. So, um, it was, you know, what's your favourite sci-fi ship? Right. What is your favourite sci-fi ship? Oh, the Firefly. I want the Firefly, but it looks more like sort of freelancer, like the ships in Star Citizen that have the Firefly feeling mm. inside. Right. Yeah, that's what I've always been saying. I want to yeah. more. So with the Firefly, you've got the more living quarters and things inside, where we don't have that in a lot of the ships at the moment. It's very practical, and you get like the bunk bed, and that's about it. So uh, yeah. yeah, I would like sort of like. Mm. That's what I think about a freelancer. I'd like it to be just a little bit bigger with a little bit of a living area, just a tiny bit, <laughs> and that would be perfect. Yeah. Um, so, I like. Oh, sorry, you go. No, no, you go, Mac. It's okay. Come on. Um, <laughs> Maya, Maya, Maya. What did you call me? <laughs> I called Max. you Mac. The problem is, I also did this, so I called. Lu I look at Mac and then I go, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> so go, on, Maya. You, you see me in everyone. Yeah. No, wow. no, this is not your chat up line. New bromance yeah. coming on now. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Oh, sorry, I meant to speak to you. Help me. Help me, chat. <laughs> You're asking chat now. I think my favourite ship is the Defiance from um, Deep Space Nine. Because it reminds me so much of the Polaris, actually. Yeah. Well, the Polaris reminds me of the, of the Defiant. Yeah. And that's why I really want the, the Polaris, to kind of get that kind of like experience, you know? Um, from the, That's the ship I'm going to be working towards getting. Right? So the Polaris. I also really like the, the Jupiter from Lost in Space. That. Uh, Have you been watching the new series? I, I didn't sleep before I came here because I had to binge the entire oh. thing. It oh, my God, it's good. Had to binge. Yeah. Had to binge right here. I had to binge it. I had to. Had to. <laughs> had to. <laughs> Go on, yours. It's yours. Uh, I, uh, what did I say? Firefly. Firefly, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, but what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what was the ship called if you're a real fan? Serenity. All right. Yeah. Come on. yeah exactly. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. tested me there. I'm actually watching Serenity now, you know, the, the, the actual yeah, film. The film yeah. Like, the, the series I've watched over and over again, but the film itself, I've started watching again in stages, because when I get tired, mm. I'm like, right, now's my time to sleep. Let's go. Watching the film in stages. Instead, yeah, because I, I struggle to sleep. So that? when like, I get the oh, chance, Netflix, he's so corrupted by Netflix now he can't actually watch a film. Oh, yeah, way yeah, through. Sorry, an episode. Just it's remember, true. Netflix and mine. <laughs> Netflix <laughs> and mine. Netflix yeah. and mine guys. <laughs> yeah. Netflix and mine. You know, so I actually your... did that in Illy Dangerous to, 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 to try it out. Netflix and mining. No. I couldn't do it any other way to be honest. <laughs> You're too engaged. <laughs> it's just laborious. Yeah. Like, that, that's the thing is. 
you, I don't know, I play games and I watch something on a second screen. No, uh, yeah. But. That's why I'm so excited by mining in this because it's um, it's a hands-on experience. You can't really yeah. uh, half-ass it, otherwise you'll mess up. Yeah. You, you don't really want that. Yeah, explode you don't everyone. Really want, like your interaction with Star Citizen means you're looking at another screen to do something else. Yeah. You want the game to be that engaging. With it. Yeah, you want to be in it. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're trying to be professional. He's trying to win that giveaway that we didn't announce. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we didn't he's do that at all. He's taking it. pictures for the, so which developers announced what? If you're going to look at him, <laughs> yeah. look at Luke. No, it was Luke. Clicked. Blame him. It was all Luke. It's all been clipped. We'll keep it for you. If you pay us enough, we'll send you the clips. Yeah, the only thing that they've got is the story of me sending up in a Swedish hospital. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll remember that. Yeah. I don't so mind. what's your ship? Mine, I would say two. So obviously Serenity, right? What, what? Hang on, you can't fucking. Uh, just such a I can. Uh, oh, I totally enough. can. So like right, Serenity, I I just love, love to pieces. Like it's kind of Drake. Yeah, inside. but it's not armed. Like it's a true. spaceship without weapons. So, but then spaceship. <laughs> a non-combat spaceship. A non yeah, <laughs> but then I also love like that utilitarian style mm. and. This isn't one, but like you know, in Aliens, in the Alien, in the Aliens film, where they've got the dropship, the only thing that I hate about that is those silly little flap-out wings. So I would have to go for the uh, if any, for any Warhammer 40k fans, the Imperial Guard have a dropship that's called the Valkyrie, mm -hmm. and it's like all, it's basically the same dropship from Aliens. But it's got normal wings. <laughs> and it's got yeah. a lot of missiles. Yeah. Stupid wings. Yeah. I think it's kind of unfair to like uh, to to bring up modern ships, even though I have. But yeah. uh, another modern ship I would say I really like is the Rocinante from um, yeah from, from the Expanse. Yeah, the Expanse. It's a really cool ship. Yeah. But then you've also it's like nice. if we're looking at other ships, like you've got a space shuttle. Like the space shuttle is just beautiful. Mm. What NASA? Yeah, but like, <laughs> but even when you look at it, right? I got to see a space launch once at, at, at Kennedy, and when Ooh, you look nice. at it, you're like, "How doesn't that thing tip over?" <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. we've tested this shit, and it didn't work. How do you make it work yeah. in real life? Yeah, but imagine the NASA guys sat in the room, being like, "Hang on, we're going to create ourselves a problem right from the outset." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simulations weren't existed around then. They were like, "That's like the 70s, 80s when they really created that whole thing." Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. I mean, if we're telling crazy NASA stories and we're, we're looking for stories... It's NASA. NASA? <laughs> no, I'm joking. What are you on about? <laughs> so those white things on the side, the solid rocket boosters, yeah. are actually made in a, in a factory in Ohio. And the way they get them from Ohio uh, to Florida Ohio. Yeah, is on a train. Now, the standard gauge for trains in America is four foot, three and a half, and then three... Was it four foot, three and a half... Uh, you oh. fucking nerd. Like, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember trying the to gauge. You're trying to be a nerd, and I'm you're not even doing that. But basically, the railway gauge in America was copied off Britain. Mm -hmm. It's all standard. It and the standard railway gauge in Britain is actually based off Roman roads, and it was the space between the two wheels on old tracks and on, on Roman roads. Like chariots. And that was set from Roman chariots. And that the, the distance between those was set because it was the perfect distance of two horses. So really, we go back to the solid size of... Solid rocket boosters for the for the space shuttle are actually set off the size of two horses' backsides, um, so they could fit through tunnels on that the railway. That was the longest story to get but to the point awesome. you're trying to make. Yeah, but it's fascinating. It's a good story. How fuck? Yeah. If I'm gaming and you start a story, I'm gonna like. How terribly fascinating. Just, just don't even bother. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'll put on my anorak now and go and sit at the end of the yeah. runway and go, so that's the C uh, Airbus A380 from uh, Dubai. <laughs> I feel there's a good time to to mention a comment that I got on my fuel video. Yeah, that's a good idea since he's geeking out. Yeah. Since since we're all talking about like actual geek out about like yeah. physics and what exists. I had I had a comment I put out a video recently about the uh, the fuel mechanic. We got the shipyard yeah. update. And I got a comment back on my video, which I will find. Talk amongst yourselves while I find. So right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google the standard railway gauge. <laughs> yeah, just, just to be completely <laughs> correct. Yeah. Tell me, I'd love to know. Force rockets confirmed. Don't do that to me. <laughs> this, honestly, it was just fascinating. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. It, it just, it was just one of those things where I'm like, so they made the, they made the boosters smaller so they could fit through a tunnel. Mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah, no, I'm like, not yeah looking, don't I'm look at me that. like that. <laughs> I just looked at you. I didn't do anything. So the comment was, right, I put out a few... I'm literally 
quotating the quotating quotating we'll quotating just, we'll just quoting quoting, quoting. Just quoting. Yeah. the uh, the fuel post. Someone commented saying, "I stopped watching your video as soon as you mentioned ammonia plasma, which cannot physically exist because it would break down into NH3 molecule up into nitrogen and hydrogen times three atoms." Thus, you would essentially be mining hydrogen at a cloud density of 9 plus 40, equaling 90, 49%. Well, listen here, you pedant. Yes. Basically, the fuel is going to be a plasma of those products then. Okay? Get out. There we go. Thank Space magic. Yeah. yeah. That's magic. Just reply to your, um, so, your comment. So, whoever you are, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put the name in there because I thought it yeah. was a bit harsh. Mm. You're a twat, <laughs> basically. You're a twat. Don't uh, comment on my videos again. But yeah, I just thought <laughs> the cool. Uh, I honestly, he's right. Right. I expect he is completely right about what he's saying. All right. Yeah. But where did you read ammonia, ammonia plasma from in the first place? I assume the website. I may have. I may have said that. Right. And it's, it's not even on the website. website. Yeah. I, I might be the twat. I am a twat. <laughs> so I, yeah, I might take. That's probably what it is. You're completely wrong. This pressure. Yep, the pressure. Pressure's it's also four, four, eight and a half inches is the standard railway gauge for Britain and the United States. <laughs> yes! Good old Google. Yeah, thank you. For the nerds out But the thing is, loads of people yeah. feel like, you look at any of the simulation games, right? So DCS, X-Plane, another nerd time, X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator used to have a very, very niche community called VATSIM. Mm. That was an online community where you could log in and be an air traffic controller for the people that were flying in the, in so, the game. Right. No, like actual, like, yep, Speedbird 069, you're cleared onto, you know, runway 23 right, you know, gusts 180 degrees from the right. Yeah. And he knows that as well. Yeah. He was one of them. He no, was, yeah, the allegedly not. Yeah, yeah that's, that's your that's experience. Awesome. No. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, Ammonia Plasma is on the website, so I guess I'll do the disco lander here and say, well, the stuff that you see on the website here is for gameplay mechanics that are coming in the future, and it's down to you, the, the fans of the game, to, to stress this. It's, this is an alpha game, okay? So everything is strictly iterative and subject to change, and so when CIG does misstep, that it's up to you to help us before we By get the CIG. Game out there. Correct their science. <laughs> yeah, you're patting me. It's like mining's gonna be fine. Don't <laughs> you know? Don't look at me. Mining's good. Mining's under control. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. First time we get it, tier zero. It's gonna be perfect. Matt Lightfoot, a face you can trust. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Littlefoot. Uh, that was the whole uh, ATV. Oh yeah. Um, the, you were there presenting yeah, something. No, yeah, no, somebody no, changed no. my name, and then all I get was, are you messaged me on Twitter being like, Littlefoot? Uh, and I'm like, oh. I honestly thought that was your name. I thought that maybe Lightfoot was like a, uh, like a moniker but or something. But Lightfoot's a cool name. Lightfoot's a great name. Like, where the fuck did that surname Littlefoot's come from? Littlefoot's like from a dawn before, uh, I don't know. Okay, what's it, like the land before time or something. Well, are you, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I was born Matt Bloomer, which is a far oh, worse God. last name, yeah. A bit, a bit of bread. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, but then my mum and dad married and I became Matt Lightfoot, so I, I, I think Lightfoot's got more of like a Hollywood slot. It's right. very much a, a gaming name, Lightfoot. Mm. Like a, a, like a what martial arts move. What constitutes a gaming name? That. Something cool? <laughs> yeah, you're like, I, I reckon like a mod for Skyrim would be Lightfoot. You've got... Is this some kind of like graphical effects pack? <laughs> no, it's, it's like, you know, either Your quick feet. on your feet, yeah. or you can carry lots of stuff, and you know, the uh, encumbrance. <laughs> light foot, I think it's... Well, fucking our conversations digress. It's just like, yeah, we're yeah. dying like foot. Uh, it, does, it sounds like a character name, though. It does. It's a it good does. name, yeah. yeah. It's like a TV name. Come on, chat. Give us something to talk about. What else we, what else we got? Um, we got nothing. That was well read. So, someone did point out though that um, further up, like people are into simulators and simulators have to be fun. Right. People, but like, look, DCS, like you've got all the flippy switches and things, or like X Plane, like people enjoy that. You telling me that if you got to go to one of those proper flight no, no, simulators, I, I tried you find it. clicking all the buttons fun? <laughs> I really enjoyed it, but I tried it and I just it just wouldn't work. This is the time, guys, that you really need to question. You know, <laughs> why are you watching us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why are you watching us? You know, does he like clicky cockpits? Everybody should like. You know, I love clicky. clicky seven four seven cockpits. We need more clicky. Yeah. 
Uh, um, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. So, BB88 asks, Matt Lightfoot's face is in DayZ. You can play as him, actually, as a character, or you can find him in-game. And, uh, well, it's up to you what you do, want to do with him. Um, will we see... Is your face scanned into this game? It's not. Um, what? Why not? It's not. So, uh, the I'm only, the the only <laughs> opportunity I had no, well, no. to have my no. face scanned no. was back in the first year of working here when I was on... Still back on Squadron 42 when I was... Uh, produ helping produce that, and there was the shoots down in London. But that day, I actually had several important meetings, so I wasn't able to go. So, if your face was scanned into this, yep. into this game, would it be a copyright issue for Daisy? No, because like no, because, uh, not that I know of. Mm. I, I, it's his face. I don't think I even signed to say that they could use my likeness in the game. I just oh, right. kind of like, they're going to take a lot of pictures of my face, and then they're going to go in game. And I was like, well. It's kind of the agreement, and I'm pretty sure I own my own face. There's a lot of suit there. Mm. Yeah, I think. You can get loads of money out of them. Yeah, no, uh, no I'd win, sell no fee. Yeah. Sell my face for a fee. Yeah. <laughs> but let's do a giveaway. Let's mm. start a giveaway now. All right, giveaway. What are we going to give away? We need just man get to choose. No, no, like, Matt. Now I've got to read your handwriting. I, say, I don't think you can read his writing. I don't think anyone can. So that's an Aurora. Yeah. And that's a Morpheus. What's a Morpheus? Morpheus. Oh, a Mustang. Morpheus, Morpheus. confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving away a Morpheus. A curfew beard. <laughs> curfew beard. <laughs> a canine lever. <laughs> oh my this lord. Is, this is villain actually, ATI. Like, I'm up for a it, it does. You know it looked like canine lever. Tried, Connie I tears. You know, if it's not what I put on there, I'm going for it. You know? Avalanche yeah. LTI. Yeah. Um, I think that's Aurora. Uh, Aurora. RS? Oh, well, yeah, oh, oh, what the hell is it? It's one of the subtypes. RS? I believe so. There is no, no L, 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 L. It's worse than Gian. I mean, like, what the <laughs> Welcome to stream. Right? Watch us stare at a piece of paper alpha. and try and interpret yeah, it. Yes, MR. It, yeah. No, no, I have no idea. No, it's an ES. ES. It's an ES, but ES. he's just not put the top on the ah. E. He's bridged it across with the S. Why would somebody do that? Anyway. <laughs> He went to a school up north. We all so, did. an Aurora ES, a Mustang, a Cutlass Black, a Connie... Connie... Taurus. Is it That's a, a really, yeah, Taurus. That's a really interesting ship to buy. You know, you'd think they'd get like an Andromeda or like a... Something. No, but the Taurus has the smuggler's compartment where the bottom oh, turret right. is. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, yeah, because yes, it, it is does. like a... Okay, right on. Yeah. So, um, guys, don't spam give me ships just yet. We have... Not getting any. I'm yeah. going to change the command. That's not the word. Also, you should change it to give me ship. Yeah, give me ship. Because Sorry. it's mis-selling it. You're not saying give me ships. We have you on the way two already so far, so technically we're giving Does it roll ships over, though? Away. Right. Um, so, okay. The same people enter every <laughs> yeah. time. So. Yeah, you, you, you gotta choose an Aurora, Mustang, Cutlass, Ooh. Constellation, or Vulcan. How long? Are, how many more giveaways? Do you, are you gonna give them all away today? Um, how many have we given them? Okay, with those two, right? Let's see. How is he Three. going to read the names of the guys who won? I, I, I know. That's why I said write him down. And it's like in this room that I don't know. Who He's gonna interpretive dance. Um, as, so I, as, I would I would have yeah. to go for the cutlass the cutlass. All right, okay. we're gonna give away a cutlass black to one lucky viewer. To be? Cut, cut this black. That's a that's a big question. Vandal lives matter. Vandal lives. V L M. Yeah. Yeah. Confirmed. Squadron Thirty Two, Episode Three. Vandal's lives matter. Is it, is it a standalone ship or is it? Um, I'm, or is believe it, I so. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. What? So, uh, thing is, it's so funny seeing people pop up in chat. So, yeah. So that Eagle Six Airsoft is a company that's in France that they sell airsoft parts, and I've ordered them to the office before. All right. Oh. <laughs> and this is where it's like, oh, so now they figured out where. <laughs> is it VLM or Rick Connor? No. Uh, what was it? Bitcoin. 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 Hopefully, it's got a better value than Bitcoin right now. All right. We're starting to sell Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. All right. Exclamation Yeah. That's the key word. And it's, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. So in five, four, three, two, and one, it's now I took time your seat here. Come have a seat. Enter the yeah. for a cutlass black exclamation mark oh. Bitcoin. No, no, like a bit of straight We're doing what? Hello and welcome to yeah, the yeah. official <laughs> crowd sale for Bitcoin. We can't understand your writing. Oh, for I hope you can. Sake. Can you? Yeah, who won that? Tell me. Yeah, Britcon, not Britcoin, please. I'm sorry. Red faction. Yeah. Red. 
Okay. Well, at least you understand. That's not Stoke. Okay. Brit Don't look at us like we're <laughs> Brit Con. Are you dyslexic, guys? Not coin. Stop it. Are you? Hashtag that's yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, no. that makes sense. <laughs> we do not judge people for being dyslexic. No, here. no, we are open. Fine. I think most of us yeah. have to be in here. So uh, we're good. We got the uh, the stream going on. I am also going to have to uh, stop abandoning my friends. I've got five friends staying over with me for Britain's Con. Right. And I've totally ditched them all day. I'm so sorry. Because you abducted me. Yeah. Well. No, we with our, uh, but you made five new friends. Extra You're happy. free to yeah. leave whenever you feel <laughs> like chat it. Has, chat has learned so many awful things thanks to you guys yeah. and Luke Davis. Yeah. <laughs> You're free to leave. Yeah, thank you so much yeah. for joining us, man. It's yeah. been an absolute pleasure. Um, thank you for running the stream, and hopefully you'll enjoy Britain's Con, and I look forward to pub okay. times later. Right. We want to hear like, these oh, stories later know. on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with more stories. Thank you very much. We, we, we'll secret stream later on when we ask them the rest of the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a secret stream. Yeah. At the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. See, See you at the bar, citizen, sir. Are you going to the bar, citizen? Yes, I will be. Excellent. Right. Let me escape for a minute.